Welcome to Wednesday and welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. We're back and this is where we play new games on classic consoles. And Erlen's back. That's right. Season two, man. Three. Three. Oh, God. Three. Uh, yeah, this is the third year. That, well, um, well, it feels like the second year, but it is the third <laughs> yeah, year. I, uh, I guess time just is fucking We started in March by. 2018. Damn. So we might as well make it at no, the same time makes... as the new year. Usually people want to take a break over Christmas. So we usually take a break, and, and then we take another short break after the after the awards because it takes time to tear down and build everything back up again but we'll get into that yeah oh man um so very exciting we're back glad to be playing some games again <laughs> on the 2600 and all the people are back as well mr fix is back excellent haven't seen you in a while um, oh yeah we got that's funny we got david up there <laughs> so good <laughs> Yes, um, that was from uh, Melchitos <laughs> that said, Happy Holiday, James, Tanya, Erland, brackets David, and Darcy, looking forward to season three. You know you got to change Erland's name tag to David next week. Yeah, man, thank you. you. I appreciate it. In I ordered to this coffee Erlen... is David That's today, right. this morning. In reference to when Erland orders coffee and they <laughs> ask for his name. So he's got his David coffee and his David name. It's perfect. And there's another David. Hey, oh man. David looks like Aaron. That yeah, was true. <laughs> so let's fix that, actually. Oh, that's so hilarious. I love or should it. should we leave it? Let's just leave it for leave the whole it. show. This sure. is the David show. It's the David show. We gotta, Excellent. We got to come in. Welcome to the David Club. <laughs> oh, there's a club. That's pretty yeah. good. My, uh, my grandfather's name was David, and my middle uh. name's David, and my grandfather was a surgeon mm. who got MS and then um, he became a psychologist, a psychiatrist, because he couldn't really wow. do any cutting anymore, yeah. and then he passed away when he was in his 30s, and I never met him. Jeez, wow. So he's like, well, but he's one of those people where whenever I hear about his interests, yeah. he was into jazz music, psychology, yeah. and studying, like, and poetry, and there literature. I'm like, this is all my shit. <laughs> That's right. And I never met the guy so oh, i wow. love the name i love david so thanks i appreciate there, that yeah it's a nice little uh, nice little shout out and i thought it'd be uh, really cool to do this this one you came back <laughs> um so we've got two two games today two big games oh shit uh we've got an exclusive update to peril um, that's by VHZC. It's the helicopter through the maze one. I don't oh, know if you that's a, that. I remember that one. That's a fun one. He's completely redone it. <laughs> um, all new graphics, all new levels. Um, so we've got the exclusive on that. Very excited Love about it. that because we just played uh, Ninja Sky in Low Res World last episode. Has that had been updated or is yeah, that? Yeah, that was updated as well. So it's how's a, the update on that? great oh my god his levels are so creative and i'm really looking forward to this game as well to play playing through this one um because he he makes the most creative elaborate levels with these you know these traps and these things Have you we have ever to dodge beaten and... that game i think we like on the tw no. on the 12 hour stream we got really close i think yeah but now now he's now it's on release candidate so he's got all the levels there oh great. we got really close last episode I, I don't know how close we were and he didn't say he wouldn't reveal it but we got to this level where this hand reaches up out oh, of lava man. and i died right away on that <laughs> level it's like Okay, how do I pass this one? Man, that is a classic Atari style game where yeah. it's like the replayability comes from you being like, fuck, I can't beat this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you want to. And like, I saved uh, this one for you, um, Penalt. Fuck yes. 2019 Work in Progress Update by Carl G. It is the uh, RPG game. That's the RPG game, man. I'm so stoked. And he's got um, saving uh, built into it now if you've got an Atari Vox. Um, so you can save it. Uh, it is a limited demo version. So I think it goes up to level five or six. And then it just it stops or it peaks at that level. But he's got a lot yeah. of stuff implemented. So I'm looking forward to that one. Because that one's an incredible undertaking that he's doing yeah. with an RPG for the Atari 2600. You know what's cool about RPGs is it almost doesn't matter if there's little glitches and stuff. That's just part of how it goes. I can't, I've never played an RPG that doesn't have a glitch or two. <laughs> well, it's because they're so yeah. massive and sprawling and there's so many things to take into account and things that react with other things and this doesn't happen till this does and if you mess 
one thing up in the programming. It's like, well, I can't get past this door because I did this part too early. Yeah. <laughs> I discovered this too early. So it's a lot of gameplay testing that needs to go into, and I'm glad we're able to help him out with that. Absolutely. So I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers uh, that uh, help us out here. Coconut81, Gretems, Ground Trooper, Ice Bosta, <coughs> Johnny WC, Carl G, Croco2600, <laughs> MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, RC70, Repentless Fiji, Sir Catleg, Spartan581, S. Ramirez2008, The D-Train37, The Welshman89, Tiki Dan K, and Zach Scalero. And thank you all guys, all you guys wow. for continuing to subscribe and support the channel. And if you want to support the channel, you can do it for free. For free it's that easy you just click on <laughs> subscribe uh make sure you you connect your amazon prime to your twitch prime and click subscribe and that's it and you support the show for free and you get your name read and you also get your name read if you're in the channel chatting uh like rc70 mr fix s ramirez 2008 which i saw in uh a picture on a video yesterday uh, that was by gray defender who gave a shout out to me because he did a great video on uh galagon and he, he mentioned obviously that we did play testing for it and stuff like that and were mentioned in the the, the uh manual as well so it's always cool hearing my name on somebody else's it's youtube like, channel it's it's very surreal it's growing the community is right. working <laughs> uh i supposed to mr fix the d train 37 dan avc uh repentless vg thrust 26 trey guy uh, I suppose I say that already. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think so. And Arena Foot, who's here on his lunch break. Arena! Yes, continuing support for this awesome stream. This is the best Atari channel on Twitch. Well, thank you oh, very thanks, much, friends. D-Train37. Toss a coin to your Twitcher. Yes, that's right. Um, so, mail, news, and feedback. Already did the David thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and last, last episode, I uh, wore this t-shirt. Oh. And this is a Bosconian t-shirt. Um, and there's an Atari 2600 port of that called Draconian, made by Daryl Spice. It's one of my Jr. favorite ones. It's oh such a good game. I love that When game. you did your 12-hour... No, your um, uh, retro ga video game night, yeah. that was the most fun I had, just hanging out playing that game. Oh, like so much a, fun. That and Amoeba Jump are just like... Your yeah, two go-to games. That's my shit, man. Yep. <laughs> I just take, if I'm going to hang out and play games, it's either that or that, because they're oh, so yeah. replayable. Oh, they are. And um, when I go to the arcade in New Westminster here in the Vancouver area, I, I play this and I'm determined to get first place on their scoreboards. But I wore it last episode um, because Tandy got it for me for Christmas. Um, and we were featuring uh, VHZC's game. Probably it's going to be VHZC. VHZC, yeah. Because he's not Canadian? Bah, whatever. <laughs> VHZC, I'm going to say I think Z sounds cooler. It does. Z. Yeah, man. I think it's... That's, it has a harder punch to it. It's like a Superman Z. fucking it's villain. <laughs> that's right. Uh, so we played uh, Ninja Sky in Laura's World. He was here in the chat. Yeah. And I was wearing this t-shirt. And I didn't know, or maybe I knew at one point, that he designed this t-shirt. Wow. <laughs> so we're playing his game today as well. And he didn't recognize his own t-shirt <laughs> either. And he messaged me after saying, uh, I didn't notice yesterday, but you used a shirt with one of my designs in the show. Nice. Man, that's like how much that dude does. Like <laughs> I know. How, how much so he's... So prolific, you don't even notice. Yeah, that's that's a real... That's the, how I want to get someday, where you've just done so much <laughs> stuff, you don't even remember oh, yeah, what you've done. I did done. that. Yeah, that's so funny. Um, nice uh, Sega Master System t-shirt. Yes, there we go. And this is another, another t-shirt yeah. that Tanya got for me for Christmas. Oh. This is Sega Master System that came just before the Genesis. A lot of people don't know this uh, console yeah. because it was not very popular in North America. In South America, it was huge. Europe, it was huge. Um, yeah, but here, it was like nobody had it. Yeah, in my mind, when I was a little kid, like NES and Sega Genesis yes. was really like the two. If I ever went over to someone's house and they're playing an old game, I'd be like, I just, it would be based off of how many buttons are on the controller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this was a competition to NES, and NES dominated yeah. North America, or at least US and Canada. Um, so, but, but I do uh, have a Sega Master System or two. Uh, it's fun, fun system. The games are, are not cheap. They're, 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 they're a little bit pricier, and that's why I don't have too many games for it. Yeah. But I have a big list of ones that I want. 
It's a fun, uh, very fun system. Man, when you're like 80, the world will have to come to you to look for your <laughs> video game collection of, no. of stuff, man. Because it's I don't it's, have any rare things. Well, so. but it's like you know, like, God knows, right? You you're developing quite the the kind of like um, collection of, and not a whole, not just homebrew, but also like just original stuff too. Uh, and like yeah, I just look up. You still you got to do your tour someday. Oh I don't know if yeah. You've done it, but I've just, no, I've never done it. Have I? Maybe. I don't know. I don't think I have. Yeah. Very briefly if I did. And um, not everything, that's for sure. Yeah. I have buckets of games in the other room. Because that would be a great... Bins and bins of them. It's so hard, right? Because if, that would be a great YouTube thing. But then the, whenever you have to edit something, it's like, ah, too much work. It is, yeah. Because it's like, if you're going to edit something, it should be... <laughs> Something, yeah, something else. Yeah, but then... <laughs> I could it, just do a live. Yeah, you could just do a Easy live walkthrough. Really long HDMI cable and just... Yeah, let me know it. if you want me to help you with that. That would be really fun oh, to do sometime. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to bring out all my stuff and go through all my closet and everything. Yeah, we can be set, set up a little camera rig and just, yeah. you know, it would, it would be great. Yeah. Uh... He was completely focused on the great show. Yes, he was. <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, so we're only two days away from the final nominations for the 2019 Atari Homebrew Awards. So all the nomination committees are going through the full list of games yeah. that were made in 2019, selecting their favorite. We distill that to the top 10 that they've selected. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we put out that top 10 for people to vote on on the 18th. So the process is moving along. Oh, man. Um, and it's the first, right? That's the award show. Uh, that is the 1st of February. That yeah, is that's... correct. Um, so the voting starts the 18th, and the show is on the 1st, which is a Saturday. I expect to see everyone there. That's right. Tuning in. And I bought another video hardware encoder because last year, I just have two right now. Yeah. Um, but um, another, a third one's on the way. Because last year we had the two video cameras. And we had the call-ins, and the call-ins were on the same computer as the encoder, which caused no end yeah. of grief. Yeah. Um, so now I'm going to have a separate computer with the call-ins, so there's three video uh, sources going in, um, and two audio, one from this one and one from the call-in. So it's much cleaner. Everything comes in separately. Yeah. And you can all, you know, up, down, on, off all the things rather than this mess of two things on the same computer where it has to process audio that's on the computer and also coming into the computer. I don't, Nightmare. I don't know if this will help, but I bought a brand new lens. Um, I got a 100 yeah. mil macro, which is amazing for things. But where that might be interesting is for those close-ups, yes. we can move the camera really far back. Yeah. And be able to get... Because that's the other thing is now we're on full frame, which means that like... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, yeah, that'll help a lot. But I'll bring all... all our whole kit yes, when we please. do that yeah because we're using two lenses one for quite a, a wide full body shot or at least probably yeah not a full it would be a half you know cowboy yeah. um, and then um a a nice close tight. up like a nice tight one for a single person like we did last year the last year's setup was quite nice yeah and that's where the hundred might be nice because i know that we used yes. the, i think we used the close-up was your other camera which i was cropped yeah anyways stupid it's techie bad. shit but <laughs> it'll look good that's it'll all look good. but matters. i just wanted to let you know i got a new lens and yeah. super stuff that's on excellent it. it's all in the same kit now so my kit is oh, fully nice. together which that's is nice. fun and i've selected the background for us for this year looks nice oh god yep. okay it's all coming together yep yep now i just uh have to work on the interstitial videos announcing what uh, the nominations are but that's not too bad um so in a thread in the atari age forums uh some new upcoming games were uh leaked announced Ooh. typed out by john shampoo um <laughs> so that's really exciting john you son and, of a bitch yeah oh. <laughs> Because he said earlier in the thread, oh, um, somebody said, oh, you should challenge yourself to do Galagon on a, uh, a simpler system without the, the power of the arm process. Well, because he like, needs more challenges. It's I know. Like, He's already oh, done Galagon. God. He doesn't need to do that. And he said, well, I would maybe take that on if I wasn't already working on 10 other Atari 2600 <sighs> games. And then somebody said, 10? And they listed the ones they knew. And they said, what other ones are you working oh, on? Oh, this is the internet, man. They're and, just ready to... <laughs> arr, yeah, give us more information. So what he said is I... Uh, a few I've mentioned before, like Champ Sports Hockey, Elevator Action, which is waiting on bus technology, uh, Rip Off, and Mountain Raider, still in design phase. Now, I had not heard Mountain Raider before. 
So I looked it up. We'll get into that in a second. Another one is Archon. Wow. Uh, but that is just a proof of concept from a few years ago. Uh, and the last one I started a proof of concept last week, inspired by... And the last one... Oh, he's not saying what it is. Uh, the last one I started a proof of concept last week, inspired by the brick pattern in Zookeeper. So, you sleuths out there, what other uh, arc <laughs> arcade games, ports that have bricks in them? Popeye? We did mention that on the show a couple... Uh, either last episode or um, before we took the break. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to pursue it yet. I have so I hadn't heard of Mountain Raider. I'd heard of him mention it before. He might have um, Breakout. Oh, Breakout's been done to death. It's been done so well. I I doubt he would take on Breakout. It's so simple. Yeah, it's just a ball and hitting things. Or oh, or maybe uh, not Breakout, but uh, what's the one where it's like Breakout, but it's way more advanced, and you have uh, lasers. Um, oh, I can't remember. I wish I could is. help you. Yeah. Chat is chat's got to slide in. Moon it, Patrol? No, not Moon Patrol. That doesn't have bricks. Um, so I had heard a Mounder Raider, so I did a bit of digging and came up with an old interview that John did uh, in Digital Press issue 84 from 2006, where he says. I must say that the VS, VCS games and early arcade games were my first inspiration. My friend Dennis and I would spend our free time designing games that we thought would make great 2600 titles. One game we designed was called Mountain Raider. This game can be best described as a combination of Scramble, Berserk, and Hero. The design was even sent to Atari, even though it was rejected. Now, looking at that list of games, Scramble, Berserk, and Hero, they're all so different. So incredibly different games. I don't know how they combine together. Unless it's like different phases of the same game. Scramble is a, a horizontal scrolling shooter. Which he has done yeah. already. Uh, Berserk is like a three quarter view over top. Maze walking around shooting. We played Berserk. Yeah. And Hero is a flying platformer. Uh, with this guy who sets off bombs. So they're all very different games. I mean Berserk and Hero are similar ish they're in mazes um arkanoid that's the one yeah arkanoid that would be that would be pretty cool but it seems so simple for him to do but because he's figured out bricks it might work a little bit better um later in the interview he says i chose the vcs to get back into game programming for a few reasons first is my vi favorite video game console the one that I have the fondest memories of. Second, I always wanted to make a game for the system starting back in 1982 with Mountain Raiders. This is a long time coming, 1982. He first came up with this idea. So that's like almost 40 years in the <laughs> making. <laughs> uh, depends when he finishes it. So 40 year game span. That's probably one of the longest ones. Uh, third, the limited platform the VCS offers unique challenges I wanted to tackle. Although I seem to have um, a list of mile longs of games I want to do for the VCS, uh, eventually I would love to make a real game for the 8-bit line. Ooh. Wow. Perhaps rewrite some of the basic games I made in the early 80s, but this time write them in Assembler. And, and he did uh, go on to recreate some of the games he did for DOS, like Galagon, um, and some other ones that he recreated. I can't remember which ones. He did, he did Donkey Kong, but other people are doing Donkey Kong. You wouldn't do that. Uh, later in the interview, uh, uh, Digital uh, Digit Press asks, Finally, now that you're capable of designing most any VCS game you want, will Mount Raider finally become a reality? Yes, my most important goal is to bring to fruition my original Atari game, Mountain Rider. Mountain Rider will be done for the 2600 sooner than later, although I'm looking through my archives trying to dig up the original designs, although I know the design by heart even after all these years. Arkanoid. Uh, did he say he was doing that though in the list? Didn't say. So Arkanoid, Arkanoid. Yeah. So people are thinking Arkanoid for the brick. Yeah. The brick hint that he gave. Man, I was thinking about Zookeeper. It's such yeah. a good game. I really is. stuck with me. Like I was thinking about like the over Christmas, like the jumping over the animals and the idea that you get a bunch of points when you do that. I've never mm -hmm. thought of such a mechanic before. It's so unique. And that there's I've never seen a game like it. And you and that there's two essential strategies. You can try to keep them all in and you get yeah. bonus points. I love that idea that like the different approaches will like one was safer but maybe less points, one's riskier but more points and Yeah. Um, it, it is very unique style of two approaches to, to 
to finishing the level and the variety of levels. There's three different styles of levels to it as well. That's one of those ones I'm really excited to play again. And like, if we, again, if we have like a retro gaming night, I'll for oh, sure pull yeah. that up and play Definitely. a few rounds of it. I was, it was a really cool kind of like Christmas present and end to oh, the. Oh, it was to the great thing. capper to the to the end of. Well, it was a bonus show actually. Yeah, it's but so it was, nice to have Darcy here too. It was fun yeah. to have the three of us. You know, I was oh, like, yeah. I was really special. Um, so updates on my RGB 2600. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's upstairs. Uh, I replaced uh, the voltage regulator on mm -hmm. it. I got that in the mail from Australia. Uh, but it had no effect on the power. Damn it. Which means the original one wasn't broken and also means that my soldering job is not that bad because I did it myself. So it worked uh, as good as it worked before. Oh, man, I didn't play Braid. I'm so sorry, <sighs> guys. Ah, oh, it's a good game. Um so the power going to the voltage regulator is not adequate enough. Like it's doing its job. It's stepping it down from two to one, but it should be stepping down from like 10 to five. <laughs> <laughs> five is what the Atari needs. Um, and if I was more uh, skilled with my tracing um, abilities, uh, tracing the power from the input where it plugs in the back to the power regulator, then I would be able to do it. Um, I traced it a bit on one end and traced it a bit on the other, and they didn't drop, but I couldn't find the middle part where it where it changed over and dropped. Um, so Darcy's going to be here on Friday, and he's going to help me kind of trace it a bit further. And Because there's 14 on one end and two and a half on the other, and I have to find the part where that piece, it goes from the 14 down to the two and a half that's, that's wrecking it. And somewhere in the Atari, it's doing that. Yeah. I'm, I'm just not skilled enough to, to know where all the wires are going. Yeah. But he is skilled enough. Yeah, this 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 Christmas break wasn't much of a break for me because I st ended up staying home. I mean, I, I won't get into details, but I got like a life-changing job that's requiring... Uh, actually, pretty much worked over Christmas because I'm like, yeah. man, I gotta like... Gotta get ahead of it. Gotta yeah. get ahead of it. And also, it's like, you know, there's opportunities in life that come your way where you're just like, man, I gotta... I gotta just do this. This is so I, I didn't actually get to play too many games over Christmas, which oh, is too bad. That is. But um, you did you had a good Christmas. Right? A good Christmas, yeah. Relaxing? Um, yeah, definitely peaceful, relaxing, but I was I was almost working more than <laughs> than, <laughs> than, than the before. Yeah, just because I, I, I really care about this new job and I really wanna do a good job. Yeah. Well that's that's really important. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. it's a deadline type thing, so it's right. like it's that thing where it's like the more t and my January is nuts. So I was like, man, I gotta get ahead of this. Oh yeah, yeah, we gotta schedule things. Yeah, because we're we're shooting this weekend. We're shooting the next weekend. Um, Lots. <laughs> then we got the show. Oh, Archon. Yes, I wanted to get back to Archon. Um, just want to take a look at a video of Archon. Um, get back to that one as well. Archon, uh, uh, let's look at it on the Atari, because we'll keep it in Atari. Um, yeah, this oh, this looks, looks badass. So, I am wondering how he's going to do this. I'm just going to take a, we're going to take a quick look at it, uh, and see, like, oh my god, how is he going to do that, uh, for, is this the right one? Oh, that's cool. Will that work? Sure, I'll do that. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, man, I gotta keep the David. Why not? <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the beginning of this. Okay, so it has a nice little musical intro. Easy enough to do on the Atari. Okay. Oh, no, I'm Tanya. <laughs> You're Tanya now? Oh, no. Let's fix that. I'm going to be airlined for just a little bit. Oh, that's all messed up. Never mind. Oh, don't worry, <laughs> don't worry about it, This one man. we don't use. This is a profile we don't use. Okay, so it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine across. And nine down. Um, nine across is a lot. Uh, he can split that up between five and four, player one and player two. But there's also these flashing, see if I can pause it, 
flashing power. Um, I won't pause it. Right here. Oh, can you see my mouse? No. Um, flashing in the center and around the edges, there's these red circles as well. Um, so we'd have to include that as well. So potentially, if he if he staggers them and only does does one uh, PowerPoint at the time, those I think those are called PowerPoints, those red things. Um, he would have a maximum of ten across. Now he's done that already on Zookeeper, which probably prompted him to think, oh, I can do Archon because he's done ten things on the same line. Um, but a lot of those are overlapping. But it depends how much flicker that he's willing to, to take. This part's easy. This part yeah, this can is be done a, in like stuff I... Although I have no goddamn idea what any of these characters are. <laughs> like, are we a genie shooting a like a like a hot air balloon <laughs> like <laughs> so it's ba so you'd cool. be actually be very interested in this it's it's basically chess ah but fighting chess that's cool um in, but instead of chess uh where one character can always defeat another one yeah the the fighting takes place in a battlefield where one is way more powerful than the other so likely you're going to dominate the other one but not necessarily. Oh, dominate. that's cool. So is it like a little RNG element? A little bit, but you have to fight. Yeah. Like you are physically fighting. But also what comes into play are these white, uh, light and dark uh, tiles here. So if you're playing the right-hand uh, side, I, which is dark, or the left-hand side, is which is light, the tile you're on gives you a bonus or a disadvantage. So if you're playing light um, and you're on a light square when the, when the conflict starts, you're going to get the advantage. So you have to think about where you're putting yourself um, or where they're putting themselves. Like, Do you have like a king in the same way or is it? Yes. Yeah. There is a king. Let's uh, go back to the board. Most of it's fighting. Up here. Come on. There. Oh. Let's use the arrow keys. There we go. Oh. So there's the wizard on the left hand side, on the light side. And the sorcerer on the right-hand side, that is a, a winning move, I believe, mm -hmm. if you kill one or the other. Another winning move is to take all the power points, all five power points, and move your character onto all five. That's a winning move as well. Uh, I believe that's the only two winning moves. I love this game on the C64. I played the hell out of it. I would, I would really love have so much yeah. fun with this. Yeah. And it's like just the fighting part is really, really cool. And so each character has a different ability. One has either a projectile or a melee weapon. Um, some move fast, some move slow, some fire fast, some fire slow. Um, it's, it's just so dynamic. Uh, and I'm really, really happy that he's taking this game on. Cause this is, going to be a massive massive game yeah and i like it too. i mean the thing about chess that gets old is that it's always the same so like i've memorized so many goddamn things like it's <laughs> right. you're so locked in it you're so entrenched in like your ways It'd be cool to do something with like a different grid and like different characters yeah. but the same approach plus you can fight it's way better so this this fight here on the left hand side yeah man uh, always that's let a the valkyrie win for sure <laughs> That's uh, Valkyrie versus a uh, Minotaur. So the Valkyrie has actually a very unique um, attack, which turns them into a fireball. Just, <laughs> so you can't actually get near them. So choosing that character to fight that guy is good. It also makes you invincible during the fireball. Oh my god, Valkyries, man. Yeah, and so the Minotaur, uh, it's probably not Minotaur, shoots very, very fast bullets. So it's a good matchup so you'll see how this works so that's so that guy the light light guy the um, valkyrie has to chase after the other one yeah because it's a melee type yeah melee type weapon but it's a circle but the other one has to keep the is distance this a, is this like a manticore so can, manticore i think so you have to defend you can defend yourself by turning into a fireball or attack by turning into a fireball yeah. but it is also very powerful and i think they were on a light square It'll change. Let's see. Yep, on a light square. So yeah. they had an advant um a hit point advantage. Man, manticores are cool. So and this is both uh, fast shots, these guys. Yeah, this is like a like an archer. <laughs> yeah. Um, archer. Anyway, unbelievable game. Oh my god. I am so happy when I read that.
that are That's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, it's going to be an amazing, On the amazing health bars game. on the left and right. I'm, yeah. I'm understanding now this. Yeah. Very simple to, to learn. Sorry. RIP oh, uh, headphone users. That's for later. Uh, okay. So let's get on to the first game, which is Peril. Oh, I'm stoked. catch up on the chat here hi guys hi avhc just in time we're just about to go to your game oh archon dark team for the win <laughs> recognized it instantly nice yeah so uh yeah champ games is working on archon wow um and i can see him easily completing that it's just drawing that screen that main screen is the hardest part of the whole thing and making it look good yeah, and and the style is not that like super ridiculously detailed the art nope. style. It's fairly simplistic in a way, like the single rendering. solid colors for very two dimensional. Yeah, very very simple. Yeah, but not drawing that grid because it's got multiple colors for backgrounds. Yeah, um, like three at once on the same line, and up to ten characters at once on the same line. Well, ten plus three, so. A nine plus three is twelve. Twelve you have to manage going all at once. So, oh my God! If anybody can do it, John can do it because he's he's built up to that. Absolutely. With zookeeper with the number of animals on the screen, which is unimaginable. Oh my God! Crazy. Um. So, um. Yeah, we already talked about the T-shirt. Um. VH said, "Yeah, it's so from, great." From last uh from last show, that was funny that uh, neither of us recognized that it was your work. Um, but we're going to get into Peril. Uh, this build is from December 30th, 2019. This is a exclusive for Zero Page Homebrew. So you get to see it here first. And I believe he's going to release it after. I don't know when. Thank he can you. let you know there. Flickr uh, is less noticeable for moving objects, though. Okay. Oh. But they're all static. That's the problem. Yeah, they're absolutely. like a static board. Oh, they were just talking about it. Is it Z or Z? Are you from the US or are you from the rest of the world? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um so we'll see i'm not sure uh where he is from i don't know where anybody is from yeah that's the funny great. part about this you know yeah, just a world community um and this was first posted october 19th 2018 its size is 32k um yeah i legally changed my name vh said see <laughs> that's right what else did i miss <laughs> um and VHC said on October 20th, 2018, Fort Apocalypse is one of my inspirations for this game. Uh, it also has a little bit of Caverns of Mars and a lot of my previous game, Night Guy. So now we're going to take a look at Fort Ac Apocalypse um, so we can kind of get an idea where he got this idea from because I don't think we looked at it last time when we played this. I didn't see that comment. Um, so let's take a look at Fort Ac Apocalypse for a little bit here. Come on, transition over. There we go. Ah, sorry. Sorry, RIP. I hear that I just see the slider. Just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> someone on a board just going, whoa! <laughs> running to the board, putting down their coffee. Yeah, oh no, but the pitch thing, like the because oh. all it is is just that, like, a... <laughs> more like a knob. Oh, maybe. yeah. Yeah. So he's got the helicopter, which is in peril. Um, not in peril, but in the game peril. Um, but I'm going to skip ahead because he doesn't have any outside areas um, in peril. It's mostly indoors. Oh. So it looks like he's picking up... Uh, picking up... Yeah, this is craziness. Whoa, so you're going to blast your way to build yourself like a little... Uh... Oh, look at those lasers going on. Holy crap. Ooh. <laughs> taking a risk. I was like, what, what the hell? What are we doing standing in the middle of the lasers? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a risky move. Damn. Let's skip ahead a bit. He gets past the lasers. Oh, those lasers are hard. Oh, there we go. Now, I don't think he's got any blast away things, but the idea, like he was inspired from this. It's a helicopter in an underground maze. That's what that peril, peril is. So, very, very cool. Thought I'd show that. It's always nice to to get a background on games, where they come from. Yeah, and, and the inspirations and. Uh, F A, great game. Played the hell out of it. Yeah, Fort Apocalypse. I've never seen it or played it. It looks really challenging. Oh, he's Chilean. It is 
V H Z C C C. Oh, so totally not. Well, I'm saying it. That was I did not expect that. I love that so much, though. Um, because you're not from the U.S., I can fully say Z. Yeah, Z. Yeah. <laughs> Z works, but, uh, but Zeta. Hatcha, Zeta. Zeta's badass. I wish Z- we just said Zeta instead of yeah. Zed. If you age Zeta, Zeta C. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll never Zeta get that. Zeta C. Oh, that's like I, almost poetry, man. And I love the SMS Sega Master System. It was huge in South America. It lasted forever. Like it, they were putting out games for this system, and the Genesis for like forever forever and ever and ever so but zed sounds kind of cool excellent we'll keep on it um so uh vhc reached out to me during the holiday break december 19th hi i've completed the first beta of the new version of peril the concept is still the same uh as the 16k version uh and this one's a 32k the current beta almost has the same length as the original but i'm aiming to make it twice longer which is yeah. pretty standard for vhc add and just more and more and more levels I'm not calling you Bay though. <laughs> Man, I'm going to do it. I'll try now. I, yeah, there's no way it's going to happen. Also, I've included new mechanics, my own font for score, and icons in a couple secret areas. So we got to keep our eyes out for secret areas. And we're just going to try to survive. That's and the then... number one goal. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll have to help us with those. Um, I've tested in Stella, Z26, and a Harmony Cart, but I'm the only tester until now. I'd appreciate it if you could test it. That's what we're here for. Yeah, and I responded. Um, so I did play that, um, the the one he sent me all the way through actually, because um, we're on a break. And then this is actually the newer version past that because I I did some testing on it. I said brilliant, thanks so much. The levels were challenging and incredibly creative as always. On my first two games, I died on the boss, but on the third playthrough, I was able to beat the boss, then beat him again a second time after it looped around from level one. So just before I encountered the boss in the second loop, I found the secret room with extra three hearts. So I'll have to think about that. I didn't find any additional secret rooms. Here, you can read Oh, man. There. There's a package. Might be my encoder. Hold on. I didn't find any uh, additional secret rooms. You did say secret areas above, so I'll have to keep searching. The graphics are much more detailed and refined, especially in the level design, which is probably where the extra 16K went. I would say the game is a touch too easy right now. Dude, this fucking means that we're going to die still. I think your too easy is probably <laughs> still too hard for us, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, 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 now, as I was able to beat the boss two times on only my third playthrough and would have had um, enough lives to do so, even if I didn't find the room with the extra three hearts. <laughs> Man, we'll see how we do. That could be... But you're right. I know you're... It's one of the that's powers... That's me. That's me. Oh, that's that. you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, to make it more challenging, you could probably speed up most of the enemies and obstacles by around 20 to 30%, and then it would be difficult enough to pose a decent threat. <laughs> I didn't find any bugs at all in the game, which is pretty much the norm for your titles. I find when it looped back to level one, it still showed I had bullets but couldn't fire. Um, but that's to be expected, as it wouldn't normally loop back to level one when the game's done. Um, I, I did get the ability to fire when I picked up the bullets chest again, so it's all good. Let me know if you want me to try anything else, especially on this build. Looking forward to playing the upgraded version of the game on ZPH when we return in the new year. ZPH, <laughs> ZPH, <laughs> Canadian. Because ZPH flow, ZPH is like... It's true. Oh. ZPH, yeah. Yeah, versus... So I got a package, and I won't show my address this time. I had to edit my video. Because you want to... delete it immediately from Twitch last episode. Oh, yeah, that's... And then upload it after. Yeah, you don't want that, man. Don't need any visitors or unexpected packages. I have a, B- a P.O. box if people want to send me stuff. Yeah, man. So, but I don't need to come to the house. Oh, Yeah. It's not what I thought it was, but it's still cool. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude. So I scoured the internet for the cheapest um, projector I could find. Oh, man. And I got this one. It was $110. What are you waiting for just to have, just watch well, movies? No, no, no. It's garbage for that. Um, this is for possibly gaming nights. Oh, shit. So I could 
projected on a wall. Yeah, because you, you, that, you, it was all, you, so many screens, I mean. Yeah, it gives one it... more screen. Uh, we'll see how it does in the daylight, or I might have to turn down the lights in that yeah. room. Um, but actually, primarily, I bought it for Burning Man, oh. which I'm going to this year. Um, do you know anything about Burning Man? I know a little bit. Okay. I know that, like, I, I know it's crazy. Most people go there and do, like, <laughs> nut psychedelics and well, lose their goddamn minds. I mean, that's that. one side of Burning Man. And the yeah. other side, I think, is just, like, the Art. cultural, artistic experience of most, yeah. counterculture kind of stuff. Non-commodity um, artistic expression. Yeah. Yeah. It's unbelievable mind-blowing. We'll get into that while we're playing because we've you... got lots of time to fill. Um, so you read all that out. Good. Um, and LED is nice. I like that LED technology is being used for, um, the, probably the bulbs, like actual lighting source, because mm. it's just so much more efficient. Yeah. And the problem with projectors, they get so goddamn hot when you have <laughs> yes. incandescent oh, yes. and also LED, but LEDs do drift. Um, right. But like, this is a garbage one. Yeah. It's so $110, like one of the cheapest ones I could find. It is 720p. It's the cheapest 720p I could find. So um, all the other ones were like 320 so or this 480p. is like it's oh, really yeah oh man they still make things <laughs> that are oh that's brutal i know they say they say 100 1080p compatible oh it and it takes in 1080p signal but it blasts it out at that's, garbage that's it's, criminal because grandma's yeah. gonna fucking buy that for 300 yeah. bucks and then be because that's almost below dvd quality practically oh, like 480i is is dvd yeah quality. it's that's that's the signal um that's depressing so yeah 320 it'd be fine for video games if it does pixel for pixel translation yeah um, i just feel like 1080 should be the standard man it's crazy yeah. that anything is below that but if you want cheap that 1080 is is quite a big it's like 500 makes sense minimum, man so makes a lot of sense so vhcc uh vhc responded uh yeah i th also thought the current difficulty was too easy since dory me and i I ran were considered too hard for some people. <laughs> I was restraining myself, but maybe I just have to follow my instinct. Currently, there are two secret areas in case you want to keep looking for two extra ones. Wow. The extra 16K is not being used yet. In fact, I'm not even used the first 16K, so there's plenty of room to expand the game. Um, and then he said, on December 30th, I have a new beta ROM. It would be cool if you could feature it on your one of your future shows before I release it publicly. Of course! Of course! love to feature it on the show and that's what we're going to do right now i love it so let's get that up and going sadly we'll have to play an emulated version of it um not on real hardware but we're getting close we're getting so really we're close process. if i was better at electronics i would be able to do it myself but i'm not sadly um so what is how come I can't see this? Oh, I bet because it's on the wrong screen again. It keeps always flipping around. I really do around. feel like um, the oh, difference. There we go. The difference between like SD and like 1080 is so massive. But then between 1080 and 2K or 1080 and 4K, it's, it's like almost negligible. Yeah, unless you're blown up to a really so like I feel like big, for, big, big. That's yeah. the thing that's too bad because for home viewing, man, 1080 is about as good as you need. Oh yeah, um, it's very very ac um, adequate, especially if it's uh, not very compressed. Um, so I'm going to give you the first game because I've beaten this. This is the harder version, apparently. Oh wow! So okay. Good luck. Um, I'm going to need it. Oh, let me actually just get rid of this background here. Sorry. Yeah. So you should be fine now. Can I shoot? Is it is it an? Uh, oh shit! Not yet. Did. Let me just turn it up just a bit. Don't move. sure you're safe okay so if people remember the old peril um this has no, I'm so <laughs> much improved graphics oh that was something i noticed there i didn't write you is that when you died those things go absolutely bonkers in this level they go <laughs> clear and i would suggest not moving right away when you go to a first when you go to a just, level because oh yeah lasers you, can come out because you just never know what's going on uh rc70 says projecting it on your face makes you look really cool like how arcade machines do in movies somehow <laughs> that is true hey we could use that in a, a film it's true um there's it, actually like um 
re- they, for good effect. The yeah. other thing is, is there's a huge trend in movies to actually um, use projectors instead of green screening, so that you can like have the reflection yes. on people's faces from the authentic thing. Yes. Um, I don't. It wasn't a good Did movie. Did you send that to me? Links about that? Nah. The the one that was the most famous was Oblivion. It was this like Tom Cruise movie. It wasn't a very good movie, but yeah. they lit a lot of these main scenes with like um, something like eight HD projectors, and it looked amazing because it was yeah. like looked because you're actually real light is reflecting off of surfaces. Green screening is like. Meh. Green screen is okay, but like for some environments, using like projectors is like a really good approach. Yeah, somebody passed me a, a video of that, and it not only it was projection, but it was a parallax projection. So when you move the camera, it moved the background as well. There, hurry up. <laughs> there you go. Actually, if you stayed high enough on this this level, it, it would pass by you, but. I love the bouncing skull, which is like just there to look cool. It's like, don't go this way. Yeah, it's like kind of teasing <laughs> you, you know? It's like, maybe you can go this way later, but not right now. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Get way down there, man. And I love his huge sprites that he has. Oh, shit. I was trying to get as close as possible. Okay, I think I can do better. Like the hand that was in uh, Ninjish Guy was massive and it just reached up and just like those big huge chains that come down and yeah, destroy like... you are just beautiful looking and uh, the complexity of the level like the um, playfield level design in the background here is much improved over his old version of peril like he redid everything all the graphics the graphics of the helicopter um, the background design it feels more like a puzzle game in a way, which I love. It's, it's really cool. I mean, I'm sure it changes as the game goes on. These probably are the first few levels. It's it's a nice mix between puzzle and action. Mostly action, but there are some puzzle, puzzle I like that elements. the sound can kind of almost indicate to you when to go in this one. Oh, yeah. He's like, boo, he and then you know sound got a to, second. To very good effect in that, his games. That's something that, like you know, is such a foundational element to, like, filmmaking is sound design, and, like, that is something that, like, could step up a lot of games for... It's just oh, limitations yes. of sound with the Atari, but, you Oh, know. you can do some pretty effective things. But creativity, man, that would be cool to oh, see. Little blip there at the top of the Smashers. You can see it going blip. A little bit of gray going to the side. Minor, minor things pointing out. Now, I haven't played this before. I was thinking of a different game. Oh. Um, which is no problem. <laughs> well, then it's good. Yeah. It's wonderful. It's like... Whoa. Yeah, very touchy. So, there you go. Yeah, in this game, you got you to gotta look for the safe zones. Yeah. When things are moving. Like, where does this enemy go to and where can I be? Oh, okay. You want to be at the bottom here. And it moves very quickly. So. Glitch could be your console. Uh, not it. Eh, it's not my console. It's uh, it's on the emulator. Yeah. So the glitch could be on the emulator. Yeah, it could be. It, it could be. Whoa. And I love with his light, like beautiful lightning. Like the graphics are so good. And I love on his lightning levels, and his lit up levels, where the background actually changes when the lightning comes, as if your eyes are adjusting to it. Or if it's powering down everything. Oh, yeah, this one's a challenge. Does he have one. a? Ri He's got an. It's probably a specific arc to him. Though. Uh, he changes each time, but he does just bounce, so you can kind of figure it out. Okay. So you kind of have to wait. Too bad I lost. Bounce. I think I. Yeah, you're down one life anyway. Oh, you do get shots. There you go. It's bullet time. What's this? Do I just touch it? Yeah. Now you've got bullets. Is it limited or do? Unlimited. Oh, that's good news. Yeah. I think you go back through all the same levels. Dick. But they're slightly changed. I would... Oh, yeah, you do have to shoot him. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I just get scared. Oh. oh. You killed him. But I died. At what cost? Yeah, man. Oh, God. Boop, 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 boop. No, I don't think you can shoot the link. <laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> you did shoot it. I can shoot it. You can shoot it. Nobody tells and me. And it what does to disappear, do. <laughs> but it does come back. And I like his design where he reuses levels. 
but you're experiencing the level in a different way because you're going through them backwards. Oh, some health oh, oh i see it. what's going on that's now fucking can... so goddamn cool yeah i love that i so love that detail that you have so a, much a bullet you can get through the skull oh what a cool concept yeah so it, the levels change as you uh traverse them backwards oh you want to write for it oh, it's just running straight <laughs> for the goddamn thing i'll give you one more okay one cool play. sounds good Oh no, Thrust, you may not have been here for me talking about my console. Um, it is not fixed yet. It is very close. I posted some updates in the thread on the Atari Age forums about where I am with it. Um, Mid-process. Mid-process. What a glorious day that'll be when it's back. Oh my god, it'll be so nice. And then I can use the Atari box and I can put cartridges in and we can play through all the new games that were put out in cartridge recently and um, yeah and I can figure out what's going on with the um, the Uno cart and, and a bunch of other stuff Darcy will help you on Friday before or after the show I'm gonna try your best he doesn't come out early enough here he has to come from um, Vancouver Island so he has to take a ferry so there's not really enough time before the show, unfortunately. It would have to be after the show. Also, you always... It's its a weird thing with the show because you always think there's going to be time before it and there never is enough time. No. It's always, ne it's always a dangerous thing to do something new right before the show starts. Because yeah. that's like... You're just asking for trouble. Not that it would be like... There's no... It's not going to affect anything too much. But yeah, I always have that. Sometimes I'm like, oh, we can do something before the show. Yeah. And it's like, it just never happens. Because there's other st stuff I have to set up before the show. I have to like clean up this room a bit. I have to... Uh, get the titles ready i have to do a bunch of prep um with the with the information that i have things like that oh my god oh my god <laughs> living life by the edge oh yeah RC70 says, I miss the Atari Vox startup sound the most. Atari Vox. I can me just do too. it every time, man. Just, <laughs> every time you start just point, a game. Just point to me and... Oh, my God. <laughs> Gotta keep the lives, man. Yeah. I was was trying to... I thought my instinct told me it was about to fall. Oh. But I think it's... Because it, this, one, this one stays for a little bit longer than this one. Oh, See how this one's does. faster? That's true. So yeah. it's just my bad. I'm like... That's a good detail, though, because you once you get into a rhythm with this stuff. That's right. You have to um, take care. Oh. oh, that's dangerous. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Close one again. Yeah. Bullets. I love that. Man, I was doing so well, and then like in like two seconds, I just lose everything. That's yeah, life, that though, man. You think... I do like his, uh, I like his outline font. Oh, God. It's a very unusual font and that you don't see very often. I do find this controller ha harder for, like, the, the kind of, like... It is twitchy. The fast, the fast motion stuff. Yeah, um, the other controllers are mushy, so it doesn't... Yeah, like, it, it feels more, more like you... Effort to... It feels more like a flow. I've gotten used to it now. <laughs> oh, yeah, so man. We're going to have to get used to the Genesis controllers again afterwards. Mer, Hi. Hey, Hi. Yo. Ooh, that was close. Munch can over here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Decided to pay us a visit. So, um, did you see any movies over the oh, holidays? Or were you just working, writing I was own? working. I did go see Star Wars, though. Ugh. Yeah? Which okay. was... Was it fine? Adequate? Um, 
complicated, man. Uh -huh. it's so complicated. Like I personally, um, I won't see it, but there's probably people in the chat that want to see it and or have already seen it. seen it. I mean, I don't want to shit on anything that people really love because it's been interesting. <laughs> people really like it. It's weird though. It's a weird yeah. commercial product. There's so many strange <laughs> things about it. And um, the thing that's really fascinating about it to me is that it was written by the same writer as as Justice League and Batman versus Superman, which makes a lot of sense because Batman vs. Superman has this very specific moment, this isn't spoiling anything, yeah. um, where there's like a turn for Bruce Wayne, which kind of comes out of nowhere. It's like the screenwriter just decided, well, okay, Batman and Superman are fighting, and now they're friends, and now they're working <laughs> together, and they're going to defeat the enemy together. Okay. And the exact that happens a lot in movies. But it's like, but it's like out of nowhere. It's like, it's like the it's not every. Not justified. It's not like. Yeah, it's like it, it's famous. It's called it's Martha. At a certain point, it's like he says that, and they realize that the same mom's name. And he's oh, like yeah, standing yeah. over him with a goddamn kryptonite spear, ready to murder him. <laughs> yeah. And he's like Martha. He's like, oh, you have a mom. Hey, now we're friends, and then it's totally fine. And the same fucking thing happens in this movie, oh, where there's no. a moment where it's like the screenwriter just decided that okay, well now this character is a good character, and now we'll work together. And and and, and it was so interesting to see that like, and I don't know why you would pick that guy to be, but it's weird because J.J. Abrams works with really strange writers. Like you think about like the Lost writer, and then he went right. on to do Prometheus, and. You know, it's so it, it was weird, but it was very much like eating a McDonald's hamburger, <laughs> where it's like, you feel bad afterwards. During it, you're like, eh, it's fucking okay. so great. Well, it I'm was, so hungry, I'll eat it. But it's uh, not like thematically, you walk away really with a lot to reflect on, and <laughs> oh, it and, doesn't stick with you. No, man, and and the and they and they have some moments and some beats that are really powerful and very very good, but then they immediately um, go back on them. Mm. So there's a couple specific moments where I was like, damn, I'm into this movie now, and then like 30 seconds later, they're like, bye. By the way, just kidding. And you're like, oh man, like you can't do that. So yeah, it was a, uh, it was an interesting one. Um, mm. Also, the the pacing was fucking relentless. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how many scenes. Oh, this is a classic VH said C. Oh yeah. Sprite right here, man. Damn it. Um. Yeah, it was like, it was like, I feel like I've never taken Adderall before, but I feel like taking Adderall is what that movie would be like, or cocaine, or speed, or something, <laughs> because it was just like this, like, fucking, like, relentless. It this was, is new. I don't remember this. Yeah, and I, um, and I, I and also Damn it! the, the joystick troubles. And I think I really, really feel like one of the biggest issues with this new trilogy is just this, that lead character is, is just, it's just nothing but lateral moves. She doesn't really have a, have an arc to her at all, uh, which is really tough. And she takes no damage, no point <laughs> is she emotionally, like, I don't know, though. Yeah. I just, honestly, though, man, I walked away from that going, like, these, these just aren't for me anymore. Like, right. not in this... Not in like a, a, not in like a like I don't like them sort of way, but in just as like you know this this more it's much more simplistic storytelling, and it makes sense because that's the mm, the audience. It's the audience, man. It's Disney, and I always like these eyes that follow you in his games. Yeah, very very cool. Um, it's wrong star. This is he's changed this up a bit. Ah, oh, some classic VH said C stuff oh, too. Wow, how that's are we gonna, really fast. How are we gonna do this? Uh, maybe I can shoot it. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, it's perfect timing, I bet. Yeah. Um, but there was uh, it wasn't this Christmas, oh my but the the last Christmas there's this there was this autistic girl that um that I that my family knows and yeah. she's like uh, 15, but developmentally she's about seven. And her favorite thing in the whole goddamn world is Star Wars. And for her, it. it just meant the fucking know. world to her that there was a female Jedi well, like Rey. Yeah. And it, and that's where like and she would quote lines. And for her, it was like she was able to imagine herself going on these adventures. Oh my God, that's fast. And I was and I was thinking about it. I'm like, man, that's the audience for this thing, you know? Like that's that's who these things are meant for is like seven year old, ten year old. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm just done with it, and that's okay. Go oil and go. I agree. New level design is nice. Yes, definitely. I like how you incorporate a semblance of your other games. I think he just has, he has a style, 
and and it and it carries over a lot from game to game. It's so good, man. It's so specific. It's yeah. like even these little guys here, like I feel like those like those things that are firing out, yeah. very much him. Yeah, just the feel of it, the look of it, the sound of it, the, the the level design, the creativity in the level design, very very similar to his other games. But obviously, this is a flying one yeah. where you you can just move anywhere. Man, I watched the first uh, three episodes of Mandalorian, and that felt more Star Wars than anything we've seen in a long time. You know, mm. it was just very cool to see something that was just like just a guy. He doesn't have magical Psst. goddamn powers. He can't just Pixel. like force heal out of nowhere like he's just a right. dude who's like going on bounty hunting and he's got like emissions like i was like this feels more like what because it was they were always these serialized like you know like adventure right. kind of like start in the middle of stuff and do you think i gotta like help him because he's getting pretty like pixel man you're pixel yo He's just, he wants attention, and he's getting it, That's which the is the problem, because you can't do anything about it, unless you say nothing, go over and take him down yourself, right? That's true. And just don't give him anything. Man, the only <laughs> thing that's that's tough to me about, like, um, The Mandalorian is, I mean, it's the best thing, but I also think it's a terrible thing, is this Baby Yoda business, man. <laughs> because to me, it's like, Damn pushes it! this, like... I actually, like, have a new, like, I'm using Baby Yoda as a screenwriting, like, term. Because Baby Yoda, in my opinion, Just a cute thing is, that people like. is so overpowering in its primal trigger that you almost <laughs> don't have to do anything. There's a there's an old it's used a lot in, in movies like oh this super super cute thing. Well and you this think this puppy, this But but it's it's so perfect because it's a combination between archetypally an ancient wise being that has uh... been then transformed into an infant that must be protected. Like, so it's this like very like combination of like these two powerful archetypes. Brute, right? Exactly. It's been done a, a number of times. Um, I can't think of another example, but it just it, people do use it this this thing that's powerful or or cute that has some sort of hidden power or known power and it's um and it's and it's far reaching um and like i guarantee you john favreau walked in and that's how he got the job he's like baby got, yoda he's, two words he's, he's like yeah he's <laughs> like he's like boba fett baby yoda hang out <laughs> and the reality is they're like Here's $100 million. Fuck, man. I imagine the merch alone oh, for that fucking thing is <laughs> like, whoa. I cannot imagine. I guarantee you that that's the biggest success they've had unanimously out of all the stuff they've done. Is this? I, I can't wait for the new Transformers movie where they have the baby uh, bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it happens. They, they see money and they'll do it they don't care yeah man uh, what else are they gonna do let me That's think of, i can't wait for baby jack sparrow <laughs> they, they're in the business to make money and they don't they don't care about artistic um integrity because that's not their business yeah the um uh there's a there's this uh famous uh screenwriting story which was which is um by a i mean this i don't love the the writer but he wrote this book called save the cat is named blake snyder and he wrote this section where he said um it was on how to deal with exposition and he called it pope in the pool and what the pope in the pool is is he said that uh, if you have something that is so on its own inherently interesting right. you can then get away with bullshit exposition so it's like because he watched a movie where they had a pope swimming in a pool and the thing is is you're just so fucking enamored by the fact that the pope is swimming in a pool that you don't really think about like the dialogue or anything else right you just go like oh my god there's a pope in the pool and then you're happy to just hear about like uh john's this and gotta get to a right. to b and in some ways i feel the same about baby yoda where in in and of itself it's so potent that it almost does so much work for you that i, I obviously feel slightly jealous of the of the of whoever comes up with that because it's just it's basically that selling the entire series and obviously god damn he's, it. he's good too the mandalorian but that show oh is... my god what the hell baby bond yeah man that's gonna be the future what's what are other ones see if anyone can come up with other ones it's so good baby jason uh Voorhees. yeah man <laughs> now baby jason last time Bourne, around yeah. i couldn't i couldn't go fast enough i don't i don't shoot that thing I think it's a timing I thing, man. I think the second like it starts to, you know what I mean? Like, 
the second it goes underneath you, you have to go. You know what I mean? Like, like it's kind of like like now go. You know? Like I think that might be the Maybe. only way. Like, Is it faster or slower every third one. It looks about the same. I think you just gotta go for like, it. Yeah, the second it's underneath you, you have to go. I think. Jesus. Okay, that is hard. That's a good one. That's a hard. It's just, I love. I love it. You have to just like take some time to think about it. That's definitely been uh, made a lot harder <laughs> in this go round. Oh, and there's all the all the memes online too of gremlins, <laughs> oh, <I laughs> comparing bet. the two. Oh like, yeah. Even the design is so similar. Okay, this hasn't changed much. Lots of room. But I do, I like the show a lot. That's my only, like, that's my funny bit about it. But I like the show a lot. It's a really fun, um, I like that you can just kind of hang out and watch, like, an adventure. Like, that's mm. the tough thing about these new ones is they have to do so goddamn much in such little time. Right. It strikes me that, yeah, Star Wars is a, is a... It's more, better, better for TV? I think so. Better at, for serialized? At this point, because... I mean, that's what it was... Based off, because then you can go to different planets, and you can get to like. Because I think the 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 things about Star Wars that are really cool are the kind of like textural environment, the character design, the places like Tatooine and like the ice planet, and like right. it's just cool that you can kind of have more of a you know, and also take your time because th this movie was so fast, man. <laughs> Like, it was probably one of the fastest. I thought the Star Trek movies were fast. Yeah. It's like, whoa. Oh, this one. <laughs> like the show, too. Sometimes a bit short. He hasn't changed the maze. Oh, yeah, no. this stuff's tough here. You just take this level slow. Yeah. Oop, because you move quick. So you have to yeah, be like... Yeah, like, there's no rush. Sounds like there's a clock or a ticker or something going to explode, but it doesn't, thankfully. Also, so fun to see Werner Herzog acting. <laughs> yeah. I, I haven't seen it yet, so oh my god. Is this creating like a beast? Wow. It's a boss. Damn, this is cool. What a good game. In the middle. Right. You know what I thought a lot about, actually? This is another interesting thought I had, man, about it, is, um, uh, th this, find this boss too easy. Uh, I think the coolest female, like, protagonist, like, kind of, like, action hero style character that I've seen in, like, the last ten years was Furioso, man. Oh I was my thinking god, about yeah. So good. And, and I was thinking about this, which was so interesting, is that that sh movie really played beautifully with the archetypal image of a woman being sort of pure and oh, something to be protected, you know? And you have that with the, with the, the, the women right. that are... But then you also have this beautiful other rendition, which is of her essentially being the more archetypal masculine hero, and yeah. the thing that struck me about Star Wars is they're trying to do both with the same character. Oh, okay. You know, they're trying to archetypally have this pure, white, angelic kind of person, but then the struggle is is that she doesn't... There's no... Oh there's no damage. There's no moment of, like, um, uh, her really being, like, tested or having her... Because you think about one of the staples of Star Wars is, like, having your arms amputated by <laughs> your enemy. Like, there's, this, there's honestly, <laughs> yes. like, a huge part of it. And there's some, ah! and there's massive stakes in that. And I think it's really difficult... Watch with for your arms. <laughs> with, yeah, man. This happens in every goddamn one. But Rey is the only hero in these stories who's taken no damage. Right. And I think about, like, Furioso and how... Oh, yeah. How much she's missing an arm to begin with, and and I thought that detail was something that's really interesting, right? Because because she's starts Jesus. wounded in a way, I think an audience is more willing to watch that. You know, there's something yes. there's something like the archetypal image of of you know, and it's not just. It's this not gendered. Kid. It's like when you have someone in a white garb who's angelic, essentially, then the moment Jesus. they get hurt, it's a really weird moment. It's like, oh, fuck. You know? Oh, do it. Keep going. <laughs> oh, my God. He's added a lot of levels. This is badass. Hard man. levels. I mean, and that was my one story editor thought about it. I was like, man, wouldn't it, you know, it wouldn't have been awesome if, she, if Ray started with, like, bald and an amputated arm you know like that would have been three hit points on that cannon oh the one i was shooting yeah okay 
Yeah, it would be. Started with, because it's amazing, You could, I think he was just able to do so much more with Furioso because she st they started her as this kind of, you know, she was... Uh, but and she's sort of a, a kind of a combination she of really masculinity didn't, and femininity. She didn't and, really show any um, uh, vulnerability until she got to uh, the destination. Yeah, Furioso, and then she just broke down and went, Diff, "Well, I'm done." Yeah, <laughs> man, and then <laughs> and then he was able to go, "No, there, there's a way," and then she became badass again. Fuck yeah, <laughs> and, she, and 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 all those characters struggle through it they all oh, take damage all yeah. he gets captured and had blood transfusions taken out of him she's <laughs> getting a helmet her, on for half the she's film. getting goddamn shot <laughs> like it's so intense because you feel like these people can be wounded in this movie they literally introduce an element where they can heal each other with the force Whoa, no. <laughs> so i'm like well talk about no stakes guys <laughs> well you can even use the force to revive yourself in deep space yeah move man yourself when you're frozen it's like there's no stakes left yeah and think about how that was the thing about uh mad max fury row that was so great is just the stakes were through the roof the entire oh, time my God, because yes. within 30 seconds our character is is legitimately in trouble i did not <laughs> i felt legitimate and also you think about like that was the brilliant thing about and in of, trouble for like half an hour fuck like, yeah totally can't do anything and fucked and same with furioso and, and and i felt like there's this massive like swarm of people like coming in on them these people are screwed you know and you think about the in a post game of thrones world where you murder your protagonist <laughs> to prove to your audience that like yo we don't fuck around like it's kind of goofy in some ways to watch a more classical thing you're like well mm. and that's why i just think this shit isn't for me anymore <laughs> where I'm like, yeah i i'm bother one yeah man what did you see um first one i saw was um knives out oh shit how was that man really good oh that's good to hear damn it the trailer looked so bad to my assessment yeah oh my god <laughs> i thought the trailer looked kind of cheesy yeah kinda like eh. But it's actually... I suspect there was foul play. But they, <laughs> you know, it was very like... They use that in the film very effectively. It is a, a slight level of cheesiness all yeah. the way through. But it's so well acted and so well written. Is it legit it's... surprising? Like the, like the actual whodunit oh, element? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's good you, to you hear. You don't know what's going on at, at any moment. You're like, oh, oh that, that, Man, I what? watch that shit then. Oh, definitely. You will I mean, I love, love Ryan it. Johnson. I don't love The Last Jedi, but I love Brick. I love Looper. I love Oh, his... Looper's incredible. I fucking love his work on Breaking Bad. Like, any Breaking Bad episode that Ryan Johnson directed were some of the best. The Fly? You ever see The Fly episode? That's so no, goddamn I good. That series, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, one the, that's one of the best written TV shows really ever. Yeah. To watch it. Um, yeah, highly, highly recommend. I'll check it out then. Yep. I, I think he's, and also that cast alone is like, oh, yeah, it's not real. Everybody's the acting is so good. In it. Come on. Oh, what else did you see? Um, and then I saw. This one's not. I'll concentrate a little bit on this one. Um. I I saw Parasite. Oh, dude, that's my fucking favorite movie of <laughs> of this of the really like this whole year. It's damn good. And it it's it's like got a amazing social commentary that to me didn't even I didn't even think about it until the end of the movie. Um, yeah. And it's so it's so sensorial, like smell and taste and touch and, and sound. The effective use of of camera and and uh, the lenses that so they chose. So simply approached the, too. When it, when the movie opens, I'm like, why are they using this lens? It's so claustrophobic. And I go, ah, because yeah. it's meant to be. Because when they go to the uh, another scene, it's wide open and so expansive, expansive and and the contrast between them. He's a master, man. Like, that guy has made so many goddamn movies, and all yeah. of them are really interesting. Like, he's yes. such a... He's 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 one of those... He's like a... He's just been directing for... For... Yeah, you gotta... Oh, oh my god! Man! This joystick. So precise. Yeah. This is just a, one of the hardest moves in this whole thing, though. Also, um, very Hitchcock. Like, like at a certain point, is totally like Rear Window. Yeah, you know, there's a oh, completely like Hitchcock Huge section in it. From that, and and 
your tents throughout it. You don't know what's happening. You don't like you know what's happening. You don't know what's coming next. And this and the set piece yeah. at the end and how what? that's handled. What? Oh, it's wide. Is, oh, God damn. Yeah. It's just beautiful and it's and it's done so quickly. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably my favorite movie of the last year, man. It's... And his um, his speech at the Golden Globes, of people getting over this one inch hurdle of subtitles at the bottom of the screen is so apt. I wish people would just watch more foreign films. Oh man! Because there's so many good ones out there. Well, you get an insight in into a different culture, which is yeah. like, you know, I think that's also partly my issue as well. Is like, I feel like out of the Western tradition of filmmaking, I've just seen so many that that's what you just feel like excited to even just see different faces that you don't normally see. Yeah. And and also just like even the the percussive rhythm of like so language. Different. And then the and the way that like women and men flirt is very different. So it's like these these love scenes are just handled like so interestingly. I'm like that's not how, you know, that's not how things are done. Yeah, oh, I'm so happy you saw Parasite. That's yeah, a good one. it was recommended it, to me by multiple people. Did you see it in the theater? Uh, uh yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's the place to see. It. Oh yeah. Um, and then I saw Midsummer. Oh, that's apparently intense. <laughs> <laughs> it's really intense. Yeah, I, uh, Tanya liked it way more than me. Um, I thought it was incredibly done. Like everything was really good in it. It's just not the movie for me. Ah, yeah, it was um, a bit because of various it's things, right? Yeah, I'm just not uh, impressed by cult movies. Yeah, they they don't have uh, like an impact of like, oh my god, it's scary or this is really creepy or anything like that. Yeah. I just think like cults are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody in them is really dumb and brainwashed and like well the the sad part is is cults it's... just prey on people who are vulnerable and and that's what the film is about like every goddamn cult begins with some form of self-help you know like you're <laughs> it's so true it's like you're yeah. fucked up and upset with your life and nothing's working for you. Yeah. Um, but we have a, a you know, even if we it's like... We have a family, we have a solution and, for you, we have we have the answers. So ultimately, that's Scientology. They're like... Oh, oh every, every di religion. What is Dianet di Dianetics. Dianetics um, is just like, you know... Every religion is like that. And, and they, they provide the support that you're not getting elsewhere. And, you know, people seek that out. Um, but this person who's in this film, like the main character, really needs... Uh, support. Yeah, and that's where the tragedy. She is. And and she doesn't get it anywhere else, and it, it's provided by the cult. So. Yeah, and it tends to be like people, you have to see it. I'll I'll, I'll you have to see. I'll, it. I'll give it a watch, man. Because I feel like too, the sad thing is, is that people who are attracted to cults too are typically don't have such a struggled family. They're desperately looking for these maternal or parent parental figures. And you know, find them through these sort of surrogate, you know, like people. But you know, ultimately, it's you know fraught with trouble. Mm-hmm. Uh, did somebody say there was some some extra life somewhere? God, I hope so, man. I've been, I've been not been able to find any. I think I'm missing them. This is this, a tough one, right this here. This is where I died head. last time. Because you have to go as soon as you... I think it's going to be easier once you get past the top. Because this one you have to... Now, you, yeah, you, the yeah, top you, is the hardest. Because you you have to go immediately as soon as you see it. Or not. Oh, Maybe yeah. not immediately. But pretty quick. It's so easy to overcorrect, man. Yeah. Oh, that's a good run of movies. You watch some good stuff, man. Um, And then I watched uh, Dolomite. Oh, I don't even name. know what that is. Um, it's... Um, Eddie Murphy's return to film. Really? How a Return to it? good film. <laughs> um, I mean, he's a talented guy, man. He's always been. Oh, yeah. His stand-up is amazing and so different than, like, a any of his screen Ray, stuff. Hey, I made it further. There. Yay. Some hearts. At least one. I'm pretty sure I missed a heart. Yeah. A, a room of hearts. So do, does the hearts fully fill you? No. It just gives no. you one more. Okay. I love this sound. Oh, no. This is terrible. That's okay. not too bad. You can hide in those corners, man. Yeah, the top left, I can. top right. You should just. I'd say just take it slow, man. Yeah. Or something. Okay, I gotta go down and then over. Yeah. yeah. And then I can go to the top of the next one. Okay. And then the top of the next one. Patience. <sighs> Damn it. Chop, chopper moves so fast. Oh man, that's a. 
that's a cool run. Um, yeah, Dolomite is my name. It's based oh, on. Oh, gives a... you two. Oh, good. Uh, based God. on a real life person, um, who was a kind of stand-up comedian, beat poet, mm. um, slash perfect movie star. Casting. Perfect casting. Yep. Um, yeah, perfect casting. Good enough to. I mean, the, the character is very different than Eddie Murphy. I've never understood why people like Eddie Murphy, who like should have tons of money and be able to do whatever the hell they want, end up in these really strange, like, fat Perfect suit roles. movies where they're like, you know... Money. Just gives them a lot of money. They do really well. Okay, this isn't too bad. I just have to move with it. Yeah, as long as you get past the first one. Yeah. God damn it! Yeah, once you get in the middle of them, it's not too bad. I'll take it from the top, I think. Because I don't know why. Because now that you're in the middle, it's... Now I'm going to go to the bottom. This is the first one you have to kind of move with it. Yay! It's hard with this joystick, though, man. <sighs> Whoa! That last level was new. This level's new. He's added a whole bunch of new ones. This one isn't too bad. I think Everybody stop talking. Oh, <laughs> just like because like we're going on about or movies watching that or people like... haven't seen. Oh, this one's not too... No, this isn't new, no. To me. Oh, my God! <laughs> Joystick. Secret here, watching. Yeah, man. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the thing about these goddamn games, man. It's like, you think you're doing so well, and then all of a sudden... Damn it. Oh, is that... The, that's a classic VHZC ending right there. I feel like that tune has been used in other ones. Am I wrong? <laughs> it's a classic, you're dead tune. Yeah, it's, it's like... It's, it's a cheesy, you're dead tune kind of thing. She, uh, you should do one more and then move on, or should we move on? What do you think? Ooh, what time is it? 12.20? Oh, yeah, shit. Do one more. Why one not? more. Yeah. I felt I died One more. Fuck stupid... yes, Ramirez. There you go. I felt I died in a... some stupid ways. Yeah, I, I was... I actually did a lot. I did a little fair amount of reading over Christmas, in a way. Yeah? Reading the other stuff, but I've been reading just, just random weird stuff. Mostly nonfiction. Um, oh, I watched Hail Satan. That's, that's got a question. That's mark the, at the end. Netflix one, right? Yep. It's about like a Satanism, right? Uh, yep. Uh, the um, oh, what is it called? Yeah, Satanism. Um, but it's not the Church of Satan. It's the what is it? There's two. There's two sat Satanist groups. One is good. One is crazy. Um, this is the good one, where they're um, atheistic, and they fight for civil rights. Yeah. Um, an oppressive you know, religious indoctrination and all the rest of it. Anyway, it was um, okay as a documentary. Um, it did its job. <laughs> he says they need a need a T-shirt that's saying "fuck yeah" in the twenty six hundred yeah. council. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I read out uh, uh, a message I got. Somebody wanted t-shirts. Zero page homebrew t-shirts. Oh, good to have you back from lunch, the D-train. Back from lunch. Welcome back. Um, and they wanted like a shirt with your face on it saying that slogan. <laughs> and, uh, and other crazy shirts. I'll probably get some t-shirts done, and it probably won't have our faces on it. It'll probably just be like zero-page homebrew shirts. Oh, that's hilarious, though. I love that so much that people want to have, like... <laughs> One of the cats on them and stuff. That's so funny. Let's try not to die. Yeah. Well, like... Merch is, is, is how everyone does it, man. It is nowadays, because the, the ad revenues just dropped off the face of the earth. Totally, man. I mean, whenever I hear YouTubers talk, they're like, what's the trick to getting all your money? Everyone's like, merch. Yep. It is. Is there any hearts in here? Hearts? Hearts? Need some hearts? Anybody have free hearts? I, I swear that... I, I will buy a ZPH t-shirt. Excellent. We've sold one. Fuck, Oop. man. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, <laughs> you're just killing ah, it. Shoot. We bother you like reading chat. I love it. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't think I want my face, but I'd be so no. I'd be have no problem with my my, my catchphrase. <laughs> I didn't realize I have a catchphrase, but I guess Fuck I do, yeah. man. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, friends. <laughs> that's what it was, I think, in the email. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Nice call. Yeah, I get in trouble sometimes, like, for my language use. I, I often, I will censor it, like, I'd be say teach and stuff. Right. When I'm na when I'm more naturally talking, which is how I'm on the show, I, you know, I swear all the time and have all my strange <laughs> ways of speaking. And sometimes I catch myself, too. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to talk this way all the time. Like, I don't know. And, and yeah. I, but, you know, you just have to, like, you just have to be who you are. But it's, it's that thing, too, where sometimes I do get in trouble for my language use right. in, in terms of professionalism is where it happens. <laughs> Because sometimes I feel comfortable with people, and I'll start talking like in my my way, and right. then I'll kind of reflect on it later and be like, I don't actually don't know if that was the best <laughs> <laughs> choice. Yeah, I don't usually swear too much. I use it for emphasis. Yeah. At certain points, but I rarely swear. Seven. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm in a good, better position now. I think I had seven last time. I love that it stacks on top of each other. It's a very good thing. <laughs> very very good. I gotta be precise with my movements. Especially here. God damn. This is brutal. God! Oh, Ninja Star zooming right in. Oh, I knew it. Here go all my lives. Hooray. Guess you gotta be fast, too. You can't just be precise. And the problem with this joystick is that it's. It's not mushy. You have to. I'd try and avoid pressing in the wrong direction. Oh, I'm about to give up. So I shouldn't be dying this much here. I won't have any lives left for the hard levels later. There we go. Terrible! Oh, what a tough run. Mr. Fix swears like a sailor. Seven down to three. Just atrocious. Yeah, and I feel like it's all about context and intention, man. That's the thing. It's yes. like when you're when you're swearing, it's like <laughs> Oh, I saw Lighthouse as well. I think I already oh, you, man. you were there. Yeah, I so. was there. Lighthouse is so good. Really good. Lighthouse and Parasite were my two favorite movies of the year that I've seen. The thing with Midsummer is it sticks with you. Mm -hmm. Like Lighthouse because was that way for so me. it's so crazy. Man. Lighthouse 2, yeah. Really sticks with you. Um, because it's, it's just like nothing else. It's, they're both so out there. And both distributed by the same distribution company, A24. Wow. A24 is a great company, man. Oh, yeah. They're really, really doing amazing movies. work. Like, they're picking up these films that, and they're taking a chance on them that are nowhere near mainstream. Yeah, and luckily there's an audience for them, and you can mm -hmm. see these movies in theater too, which are just really like Lighthouse would be nothing if it wasn't in the theater, man. I'm so happy oh, I saw yeah. that in the theater. Same with Parasite. And all the screenings of all these films I went to were packed. Packed. Yeah. Um, oh, Midsummer was the extended director's cut. Oh, would you so, recommend that one? Uh, yes. It's got a, a neat little subplot that was cut out of the original. It's a cool. half an hour subplot. Um, it's a very interesting subplot. It's going to be playing at the Rio again, so I'll go then. Oh, I will go. If it's playing at the Rio, I'll for sure go. Yeah. Rio is this beautiful like theater we have in Vancouver. Second run. Which is second run, and you can buy a beer and just hang out and drink in like the theater if you want. You could not do that. It's like you have people who are like. 18 year old punks and you have people in their 70s there like it's this really cool spot where it's like you get to really experience a cool audience that's really unlike any other audience and they uh they changed the liquor laws in british columbia here so that you could drink in theaters they're the ones who made it happen and now everybody you can drink in the, the big chains but yeah. they're the one who made the sacrifice and i love and that made it happen because like the problem with like, these vip theaters is it's so goddamn much money it's, it's just so way too much versus like like these Rios just like you can buy a cheap beer for like four bucks three bucks and just chill out and, and it's like and then you can kind of you know and that's just a I guess with that's an a, enthusiastic audience yeah it's just a that's nice not vibe dicks. yeah although everybody who went to Midsummer had seen it like three or four times oh so and they it's were. like and they're all like 
making noises at parts mm. where I'm like, why are you making a noise? Then I'm like looking on the screen going, that's probably important later, which it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's kind of like, uh, but you're going to an extended director's cut. So, you know, these people have seen the film, obviously. You don't go to a second run theater of it, a director's cut uh, late at night. If you haven't seen the film, probably. That's what you have to kind of expect for that um, that type of theater. Is that it's uh, they're all movie people. Oh, I said next to um, Ariana. Yeah. Oh Accidentally. man. <laughs> this is how small this world is. How's she doing? Good. Um, she really likes that movie. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. <laughs> and the director in general, because I asked her, "Oh, how many movies has this director made? Uh, just this one and the other one." Oh my God, that was oh, the stupidest oh, death ever. Damn. So I've seen both his movies, um, but apparently his shorts are incredible. His short I gotta, films. I gotta watch that stuff. Yeah, this. I think. I think we were discovering that there's a real like desire for some t-shirts, man. <laughs> apparently. Yeah, I didn't die. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And I die. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Fred. Because <laughs> I'm not conscious of this shit. I just say stuff. That's funny. I guess I do say that a fair amount. <laughs> yep. Ah, one life left. Oh, that was close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit easier after the first part of it. One life. I need extra lives. There's two. Ooh, okay, we can... I need to make it past this. get close i recognize that sound from somewhere generic i mean it is sound. like generic stuff but that's the cool thing about like uh these games is like the sounds are so iconic they are you because know? it's you know it's like it's like a certain instrument where it's like that's the sound of that instrument yeah the atari has a certain chip the c64 is a certain chip um whoa that should not have happened what the hell vhzc <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Cheap death. That probably shouldn't have happened. Like it's yeah, going that was through. that was uh, that was a, a, a glitch for sure. Yeah. I was like a pixel away. I wasn't even. No, I wasn't it, even it, at the. Ceiling. It went through you through the ceiling to, to, oh, to murder you. But I didn't even notice that it goes through the ceiling anyway. Hitbox is too big. Yeah. It went too down too far. Okay, we got to move on. Time for pen. We'll, have, we'll come back to this. This oh, is your game. Reminds man. me of the kangaroo hopping sound. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Excellent, excellent, as per usual. And you definitely have made it, made it harder. It is now a good challenge. I think it's at a good level. He took the note. That's good. Because after I've gotten through certain levels, I've noticed I'm better at them. It's like, oh, now I know how to do that. I know the strategy. And it's not like deadly deadly every time like that's like that one i i passed easily one time and other ones that were hard now i can pass them easily and now i can't get past that one so it's it's a nice balance where it's challenging even though you know how to do it sometimes sadly you didn't reach the spider oh no i know but we have no, limited time another here. time man yeah well, that's the one that's well, a replay going back for it. sure yeah um, so I don't know when you're going to be releasing that to the public or you're going to be working on a little tweaking here and there before you do it. Um, but probably soon, um, if he, so he'll, he'll let you know. So we're going to go on to, um, penalt. Now this one has been out for a little bit, but because we've been, uh, away. Don't do anything yet. Oh, I like the 3D. Yeah, that is really, really nicely done. I've used it since he's land proud of the new spider sprite. Oh, I wish I made it. Uh, we'll have to play it again soon. Now, you can't continue because there's nothing saved. Um, so, Penalt by Carl Garrison, a.k.a. Carl G. Um, this build is from December 8th, so it's a month old. The size of this game is 128K. We've never played a game this big on the show before. That is massive. I don't even know if there is a game that big. 
Whoa. There might be one that's the same size. Can it fit size. on a cartridge, or is yeah. this okay? Yeah, it can fit. It can fit both on the Uno cart and on the um, Harmony Encore cart if you've got it. Encore cart, not the original. I don't think that can only take up to sixty-four, I believe. Um, other games he's made: Cannons, Toy Shop, Terminator, Space Game, and Penalt. Um, this is available in the Atari Age forums. I'll check the chain pixel glitch and the bouncing box and release the beta. Stay tuned on the Atari Age thread. So it's coming out soon. He's just going to fix these uh, little glitches that he has in the game. They shouldn't be too too bad. Um, so I looked that up. We last played this September 18th, 2019, not too long ago, um, when he did a big update. Um, when I saw the specs of 128K, I was like, oh my god, what? 128k that uh they released those specs in november 2013 uh 2013 um it was made that was made by cpu wedge up uh, cpu whiz and rev eng um and this note was posted by gemini tronic um i can now make four-way scrolling games this is posted november 29 2013 he's gemini tronic said now we can make four-way scrolling games because there's enough memory the maps would eat up like a lot of space if I'm ever to make an Ultima style game, this would be the thing that makes it happen. There we go. And then it came. He didn't make it, but Carl G did. Um, so this new demo, uh, I uploaded a new public demo you know, of the game. What was the name of the last game? Uh, that was uh, Peril. Peril. So take a look for it. Uh, the old versions exist in yeah. the Atari Age forums right now. The new one will be coming soon, so keep a a watch on that one because you can put a watch on threads yeah that's... and it'll email you when it's updated hands down that one gets my endorsement man like any oh, vhzc game is any. worth playing yeah. but like you know this was very interesting it's a neat combination of different things and i love that like you're doing different styles although they feel like the same like i think about night guy and low res world yeah. it's the same kind of like genre i guess where it's somewhere between a puzzle game puzzle and... maze action but yeah. but in this case it's neat because we're the helicopter and we're more and a maze and it's you like you can't the, touch the sides yes the other ones you can touch the sides and, and so it's like it's like all in the same universe and the same yeah. tone and style and challenge but at the same time completely different mm -hmm. and then you think about like his um a roach in space so it's very neat to see like yeah they that all, one's really different that's its own deal but as well it feels the same because he's got those spinning blocks which he reused in this spinning 3d cubes <clears throat> yeah, he's got a very distinct style. You can really tell it's a VHZC game. But they're all different. Like I'm very, yeah. I'm, I'm super into your work, man. So thank you so much for like yeah. programming that. Amazing. I mean, it's it's also just easy to just get lost in that one and fun to see. Like, um, and I love, love, love the idea of going in, getting bullets, going back, killing the yes. skull to then go down. I wish there were more details like that in games. It's yeah. just so fun because it's it like reshapes the game. It makes you look at the level at a different perspective. It's like, oh, now I can do this on the level. Yeah, that's... and that's that's very common with modern. Um, modern games, yeah, where it makes you revisit and retrace your stuff. And that's Zelda, man. That's like the Zelda thing of like mm. having like uh these areas that you can't get to without getting a level up, that's like right. getting a bomb to blow a thing up, getting shoes to walk on water to like you know. And that's what he did in the uh, Ninjish guy is. You go through some levels, you have to get a key to open a door, but you have to go through, back through all these yeah. levels. And sometimes they're harder going through the other way than they are going because of the timing and it's, it's a brilliant, brilliant way to reuse um things and yeah man really good work yeah vhzc did design uh the t-shirts that we've got here that i wore on the last show Bosconian, draconian and he's got a, a bunch of other t-shirts as well argonian <laughs> <laughs> mr fix says got to get the uno card again my house got broken into and my atari stuff and other stuff was stolen ugh no that sucks a lot I mean, gives you a chance to buy new ones. Well, the fucked up thing about that is, is, is like, the, that stuff's worth so much more to you than yeah. whoever stole it. They're going to pawn it for a dollar, which is 10 that, bucks. That's for the, the tragedy, lap. man. It is. It's like, I would buy it back from them just to, like, yeah. I give you more than anything you'll get in a pawn shop or wherever you're going to sell it. Oh, the Harmony can do 512K. Never mind. <sighs> Whoa. Oh, that's right. Because it can do the bad Apple demo. Can it? I don't think you can load the bad Apple demo on it. Or can you? I don't think I've ever done that. Only in the emulator. Theoretically, it can load the bad Apple demo. Um, okay, so let's get on with this. So you want to do new game. 
Um, now he's gonna fix up this. This is really weird method of inputting information. Like it's it doesn't make sense, but we'll get through it. And I don't have uh, a USB to nine pin, so we can't save the game right now. But uh, but also there's a danger in saving the game. So but I will get to that. Oh. So I wouldn't. My name is Dan. I'm just gonna be Dan because it's shorter. It's just <laughs> easier to. I'm gonna be male. So me and Dan are gonna <laughs> rock it out. Dan is gonna kick some butt today. Okay. <laughs> Me and Dan till the end. That's right. Okay. What okay. Are we... So Whoa. it's easy as to just plan it all out and then go down because the way to go back and do it is really weird here. He's okay. Hmm. So remind me what each one does in Strength terms of the game. Is fighting. Like okay. Just hitting people. Intel uh, dexterity. Um. I think that's more the chance of hitting someone. Okay. Intelligence would be spellcasting. Man, I think I'm going to do um, 15 strength, 10 dex, 10 int. That feels like a balanced, That's what smart I would do choice. Too. Just because, yeah. like, you and then as we it. learn the game, we can maybe be more specific. But it just strikes me that, I mean, the other way to do it is to do 10 strength, 10 dex, 15 int. Yes. But I want to see, like, how it is first. I think it's always good. I always start with a fighter when I play an RPG. Yep. Um, and then when I learn the game, I always go back and replay it in the way I want to. Um, yes. But I think that's a good balance start. I think it's a very good balance to start with, yeah. Um, and I don't think they go up. Okay, cool. So um, so your hit points is 16. Your spell points are 11. Your food is 25. There's the wind. And yeah. then it says G. And there's and then no um, gold. But guys here. And then we got this little castle, right? Yep. So obviously that's where you want to go first. Cool. Oh. What did it say? Entering... Go back out. Oh, yeah, let go out. I think I missed. Exiting to fart. Entering Acadia. Acadia. God damn, Acadia is so, so good. Those are guards at the beginning. Oh, yeah, can I talk Let's, to these guys? Yeah. So you press the button to do an action, and you can do talk, cast, used stats. Let's do talk, and then we'll look at the stats. No one is here. What? I'm oh, talking it's to It's like the... those guards in uh, in England. You can't go that you way. You don't talk to them. Yeah. So press the button again, and let's look at our stats. So, so we got Dan. He's male. Strength 15, dexterity 10, intelligence 10, level 1. Melee, you have a staff. Mm. Range, yep. nothing. Armor, nothing. Gold, 25. Now, I believe in this game, you just upgrade your weapons. You yeah. don't have an inventory But I weapons. believe when you die, home, is that my home? So that's new in the game. Rest. And save, and save your, game. your game. Whoa. Sure. Um, no, I'm not going to do it It won't yet. work. Um, but that's cool. So this is my home. I'm just like yep. Acadia. That's Dan cool. from Acadia. I'm into it. Okay. I'm going to, before I go off the path, let's stay on, <laughs> let's the, stay path. on the path and check things out. So, so what do we got? We, we got have the, the tower town hall. hall. Let's town hall. Oh, town. Oh, old timey town. I've got some nice water there. And Taylor says, Beware we'll of troll bridges, man. That's remember a, that. That's a good bit of advice. Okay, we got the mayor, Welcome. Mayor Wade. Hey, Wade. Welcome to Acadia. Wade Wilson. So if you go down, that's a, a window. You can't it go. Allows that you way. to see through the oh, window. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we got the old timey town hall. I think we got like a like a store soon. The pub. Lots of stuff. If they could array it, they took it. I was in the hospital for a couple of days and paid for it. Oh, so somebody knew you were in the hospital, or was scoping oh. your house out and saw nobody was there. That really sucks. It's like badness upon badness. So you got the pub. Uh, have a drink for five gold? No. no. Bartender says, oh, you keep you go away too fast. Oh, did sorry. you talk to that dude? I did. Well? He he's wants me to have a drink. Oh, another time. Bartender. Good. So check this guy out. He's like, this is Robin. My boy Robin. Stay and have a drink. Stay and have a drink. That's my drinking buddy. Me and him killing it okay and this is the town yeah we've already been here let's see now we'll get into some background after we uh weapons yes so, probably want a weapon sling no now, how much curious. gold do you have 25 so i oh. gotta get some gold i'm just gonna scope it out mace and a sling so those are upgrades yeah i might what you've got now. in my experience sometimes it's nice just to jump talk to, to that guy oh yeah talk to everyone you encounter because they give you hints sometimes Oops. eva the fighter says arms are scarce now due to our troubled times <laughs> man troubled times that's I why you're here a, a hero nice rpg type game it is 
super advanced. 200 for leather. So there's, we'll have to come back here after getting some Yeah, so gold. we got a sling, we got a mace, we got some leather armor. So what's that? This, I think, I think I gotta go down and then there over. There we go. Let's check this out. The grocer. Ha <laughs> <laughs> let's check it out. What do we got? Rations. So rations. I would buy some rations so we can explore for a bit. I Thank would you. buy even some more. Or maybe not. Maybe you yeah, I mean, it? I just got 15 gold now, which is all good. Yep. I only, only started with 25. But you got lots of food so you can stay out. I got my staff, you know, nothing can go wrong. Now in window. Ultima, you always want to, you want to check out dark forests, right? Alistair says, the mountains to the south hold great magic. Mm. Man, I want to go to the mountains in the south because now. There's always people hiding in the woods, or special Ooh. things hiding in the dark woods in towns. What's this thing? So okay. it's like a little path you follow to that guy. But you discovered him right away rather than the path. Yeah. Okay. And probably the entrance to the path is lit. But... Uh, okay. It's like a window. Let's see. Yeah, there's the open where you start following the path. Yeah, cool. Okay, and then I think this is the town hall. Let's just yep. check. Yeah. Okay, so I think we can go out and maybe go into the world. I think I want to get some gold so I can get some items. Yes. Heck, I even got a new 2600, at least a modded one. Lol. I will have an Atari Vox and no 2600. Talk about backwards. Oh, rats are right away. Well, rats are the lowest usually. Um, so I know your companion animal has projectiles. So you want to use that as much as possible. Oh, yeah. What and I'm... you want to make sure you line yourself up, if you remember from last time, because you can only shoot in four directions, but they can shoot in eight. Um, I, man, this sling might be nice. Yeah. Because it's, like, ranged. I don't think I have a range. No ranged no. weapon. So let them come to, like... Boop. Breathe, right? And that's, like... Yes. Straight up. Oh, no. Okay. Shadow rat. So make sure you don't move into them. They move into you. So you can move up one, but don't move another one missed again now you can attack oh the rats are in a good position hopefully they don't go around missed again okay maybe i need more dex we'll see i can heal yeah yeah, you hit them oh Oh. they're moving around so now you got two guys attacking you oh but you're strong that's where the strength comes in now you have to move your guy not up not left either down or right because if you move up he'll he'll get first attack ah so That's a good tactic, man. Thanks for that tactic. No problem. I missed. So he moved in a good position. Nice. Now go help out your buddy. There you go. Victory. I got some gold. 11, 11 gold. gold. Okay. It's not bad. You did get hit a couple times. So um, so use. I'm just curious. Nothing to use. I'm just curious about these rations, though. Right. Cast. Ray? Oh, I don't want to. No. I go? I don't... Maybe not yet. Actions stats okay 26 gold uh okay good max hit point 16 yeah. so you're down two. how do i heal i believe you go to the castle not that town don't go in the town okay there's a castle up there that has healing so you probably want to stick around there but hopefully you don't get attacked by trolls in the bridges yes now we can go get healed oh yeah killing rats with your dragon buddy living the good life Hey, man, me and my dragon Oops, till the gotta, end. Got to get a 2600. Yes, you do. At least a, a composite modded one. I bet Rufus is the real power behind the throne. You know it is. You man. know he is. We, we theorized last time that Rufus was the king. Yeah. That was turned into a cat. Good day. Oh, these guards talk. Oh, hey, man. Good day. Where's Rufus? Rufus! There's Rufus. Oh, Rufus. Meow. Says King Rufus. <laughs> yes. Yo. That's the real power. Queen. Well, welcome, Dan. Go and experience more. Because she levels you up. Oh, yeah. Talk. Seek the magic circles. I don't. We never figured I'm out go, what that meant. Man, I'm going to go to the there's, south. No, before you go, there's a mad. There's a secret oh, yeah. place <gasps> there. Oh, God. I'm so in love. I Isn't love this stuff so like this. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, is that... I think it's either impassable or you might get hurt. You can't go that way. But your hit points went up to 15. I think... I think. Um... But it should have been 16. Maybe go talk to her again after. Whoa. The sauna. <laughs> nice. 
Nothing there. Nothing there. So when you're walking around walls, always look for that little dot. Oh, I see. You see I the see dot now? I see exactly what we're, what we're talking about. Yeah. Now, um... Man, King Rufus, he's the real guy. Do you think he? Do you think he's been transformed into a cat? I think so. Yeah, that and feels right. And that's like something you'll have to help out with. A gowl. That's probably jail. Oh, jail. Yes, pronounced differently. Healing. Yeah. Yay. Talk. It's probably expensive. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, that's where you get healed. That's she okay. levels you up. That's where you get healed. Dallin yep. the Dwarf asks, ever been to Stoneheart? Sorry, man. Haven't. Not yet. Love to, though. So now you're at 16 again. Good. All hail Rufus. Fucking Rufus, man. He's the guy. I mean Rufus all the yep. way. Bar. Good to talk to the patrons. slang monsters is definitely thirsty work, <laughs> man. Oh, we gotta yeah. we gotta get you with Robin, man. Robin needs a drinking buddy. No, thank you. No, it doesn't give you anything. Rations? As far as I know. Is are they the same? Let's see how much. Same price. Ten. Yeah. Okay, that's good. They're not like conning us. I found, I think in Ultima, all the things are the same price. That's really nice. At least in the early games. But it's good to keep a, an eye out for that because maybe some projectiles in one town are cheaper. But I bet he's made it. I think there's everything in this castle, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Well, check the walls. Oh, yeah. Go to the right. There you can see outside. Yep. And I, I don't think that is everything. Because that one. We got this, this guy here. We went through that. I think there's a secret entrance uh, by the bar, if I remember from last time. No? No, feels like there could maybe be. Maybe down south, near the bar, then. I swear there was one. Yeah, I remember there's a different one. Armor? Oh, oh yeah, armor weapons, here. good. So let's check out these weapons and armor. <sighs> Chain this mail. is the big time. 900? Yeah, shit gets real. Yo, what's this guy up to? What's your name? Job. I'm Dan. <laughs> Dan the Killer. Weapons, let's see. An axe. axe. Oh, that's what I want. So we can't afford those yet. So we probably have to get the other ones. Yeah, I'm feeling like first. I'm feeling this mace first, and then because you know I just think you just go straight for the mace. So. I mean, actually having a sling and a mace is not a bad idea because I get some range. Actually, probably the probably the sling, sling first. first. Number one. It's number only one. fifty gold, anyways. Because then you can kill them from afar before they get to you. Yeah, you can actually attack them from afar. Okay. <laughs> now, before you go out. Oh yeah, I might check be. Check around the outside. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe nothing, but it's always usually some people hiding around those, in the corner in the back. Who explore? Yep. We'll discover. Now, when this game is done, we're gonna do a marathon of this. Yeah, man. It's gonna oh. be like a four-part series. And we can save and can. Yep. Oh man, I'm so excited for that. So we're gonna talk about the saving here. And somebody. Uh, no, Carl G said, a couple notes on saving. This has been uh, tested on both Stella and actual hardware, but keep in mind that it's young code before you use your own Atari box or save key and get in case there's a bug I haven't found, so be warned. The game writes... Oh, who are you fighting? Just some people. I want to get some gold, though. Yeah, you need to fight them, but these guys look dangerous. Uh, the game writes to the area reserved for space game. There's plenty of left, uh, space left over for space game for me to use with Penult without having to request a separate allocation for the latter. If you happen to have a space game cart and want to confirm the saving works for both without any interference, then this would be great too. So he hasn't done that? Hmm. To clear a saved game, hold the joystick up at power up. This will allow you to start a new game and the progress of your previous game will be lost. So if you wanted to erase your game... Oh, you're kicking ass! Oh, wow. Nice! Nice. Yay, let's see how much Did gold you even we get. get. Hit? 19. No. Nice. Okay. I don't want that sling, baby. Stay by the castle. No, stay by the healing well, castle. Oh, I can, yeah. Because in, in case you encounter a really tough guy. That's a good point. And then if you, you don't want to encounter a second one after you're almost dead, right? <clears throat> uh, with this game, uh, this detailed last time you played it, I don't remember talking. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game this detailed oh it was there was talking um i think it was just there's a big glitch here this feels a little smoother yes i mean we had trouble because we we're playing on a real atari um but we did switch over 
I think it may be uh, fix some fix some glitches. I don't see any glitches. Really, really good. So these guys aren't too bad. You've lost some hit points. You're yeah. down to 13. Lost three, but you're still fine. I love the sprites. Oh, the sprites are gorgeous. Like, everything about this game is so, so good. Oh, man, we just keep missing. It's okay. We'll get it. Yay, I think I have enough now. Let now, me check. Now, there's two modes. Don't move yet. I'm just going to check my... Okay. Yeah, I'm good now. Um, so, he has included a less flickery version of the game. Let's see. Where you can switch it over to just black and white. Oh, that's nice, actually. So, uh, so you either have the um, staggered line drawing. Yeah. Or the solid... Yeah, it's harder. To, it's like it's like smoother and nicer yes. on the eyes, but it's harder to differentiate the like environments. Yeah. No, not this place. Well, I'm gonna buy some stuff. Oh, do you have enough gold? Yeah, man. Nice. Sling. Sling. Yeah, I get the sling, and then I'm gonna go heal. And if I yeah. find, and so far I'm like doing, You're doing okay. A, you so. got hit points twelve. Mm. Talk. Sling. Nice. Ranged. I'll be back. So what are you gonna go for next? A better weapon or some armor? I think I'll probably go for um, armor is more expensive. I think. I think I might. I really don't understand how the tile set works. Um, so let's actually look at it. Sorry. So we've got the two player. Can you see what's going on? Kind of. Not really. Um, so it is flickering back and forth. You've got player zero or one in the first two, and then player zero or one in the second. So let's say player zero and then player one, player zero, player one. And it is, it can't, is it drawing too close? Oh man, this sling was a good call. I'm just gonna do something for a second. Okay, yeah, it is drawing, oh, can I do frame? Is it control F? Yes. So you can see it's drawing player zero and then a space and then player one giving it enough time to change the graphics player zero and then giving enough time to change the graphics player one and then the second frame it draws the second half of it and it goes back and forth even the bottom with the text so that's that's how it works wow. and um there's this is a very uh common thing for detailed um games and it is also not drawing every line as you can see so it's actually giving itself more time and i think it's staggering the time between player zero and player one maybe not but anyway it is staggering it's doing every second line so it has enough time to um, load more code load more graphics and do more coding elegant solution yes it is and i believe it was first employed um in chess actually, oh really for the 2600 because it has only a limited number of rats shadow rats limited number of sprites it only has two sprites for drawing players so it had to, oh the shit. programmers had to there you go the programmers had to come up with a clever way of drawing a lot of characters on the screen the eight tiles eight by eight um, so they had to divide up the screen drawing time and it would stagger the drawing between the two lines and it worked out really well and it was actually um, the chess game was the subject of a lawsuit against Atari because in the first box they showed chess on the box and somebody sued them for false advertising because chess didn't come out with the Atari it was a future game. And they're like, I bought this because I wanted to play chess. And there was no chess. And so what they did is went, okay, you're right. We're going to take chess off the box and I guess settle out a court or whatever. Um, Time to explore. Yeah, because I think rather, than, rather than grind now. Yeah. I mean, I can grind forever. I don't care, but I don't so think there's it's... a. You see the uh, those are either impassable or they are whirlwinds. Oh cool, there's like a little they thing. Don't seem there. To move, so I think they might be impassable. So a little town there. Yep, 
Yeah, and if you haven't played um, Ultima, that's what this game is modeled after. 1980s um, 8-bit computer game. I played the hell out of it in the 80s and 90s. Um, I finished Ultima 1 through 3 and almost finished 4. Then I ran out of time and went to university. <laughs> <laughs> As it should go. That's right. Missed, missed. Well, at least they're missing you. And I, I don't know if your dragon is directly tied to you. I like it's weird. I don't know if my, like my dragon. he gets hit, you get hit, or I, is he independent? I feel like he's independent. I wonder if the dragon can be killed though. Within a game, I think, but maybe it gets resurrected. Okay. We'll have to find out. Interesting. So this area here. Mm, I can't get to it without a boat. Yeah, so. Goblins, that's what they are. Missed it each time. Whoa. Oh, shit. Ooh. Did they not have projectiles? No. no. Oh, you're in trouble now. Well, at least you've got projectiles. As uh, <laughs> everybody's missing. <laughs> there you go. Oh, killed. Nice. So the. We'll see. It's it's, Not too it's bad. there's still some just serious RNG yeah. side to this game where you just like. So, uh, had Ultima one through three was awesome. Mister Fix says yes. So let's get into what he's written about. Uploaded a new public demo of the game, which we're playing. I've been reluctant to release a public demo of the game with my custom maps, as I did not want too much of the game spoiled prior to release. And we were lucky enough to get early versions of the game. Uh, this demo contains a reduced world map with just the starting city of Arcadia, Queen Aveline's castle, and the surrounding lands. You can go up to level 6 and earn gold to upgrade equipment. So that's the functionality of this right now. This version includes the ability to save your game if you have an Atari box or save key, which reminds me I have to buy the new Atari box. I have to buy it really soon, actually, because my Atari will be fixed and we have all these games that use the Atari box that we want to show off. Um, that the other one doesn't work on. I have to label my old one so I don't get confused. I'll put my old one on the uh, Vectrex. Uh, the game saves when you're save at home in Arcadia and automatically when the following game events occur. Character creation, of course. Going up a level automatically saves. Dying, sorry. So it saves when you die. Mean. Ooh. <laughs> So if you don't want to die, shut off the game before you're dead. <laughs> if you're down to one hit point, I've already been and, here. Um, so if you're down to one hit point in the game stats. and you don't want to keep it, ah, uh, seven gold. Yeah, we can't get anything quite yet. I'm still just gonna explore because I think got... you can go up a level yet. Does it say something when you go up a level? I feel like like I've killed a fair amount of people. Like it feels Maybe like I should enough. be able to, but um, we'll not yet. Okay, so yeah, so this whole area we've sort of we've we've really. Yeah, I think we have a reduced map from the one we have that we sh played on the show. Because there was quite a few... Makes other... sense. There's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. This demo also has two display modes. Selectable with the color black and white switch, which we showed. Color includes an accent color in certain parts of the game and black and white does not, but shows a more solid display. On CRT displays, I found that the black and white display mode has much less, less vis visible flicker. On modern TVs, it can go either way as to which looks better. It could be a cool tactical turn-based game using that tile set technique. It is cool. <laughs> this is a turn-based game. Oh, I'm, oh, he's talking about... Um, what is that genre of games? Turn-based strategy games? Yeah, they're like turn-based attack. It's what it is. It's like Final Fantasy is a good example of, of that style, I think. Or like overhead tank strategy games. Yeah. And, the, the, what are those called? They, there is a genre. Just, I think it's just turn-based. Turn-based? Yeah, because pause and... Pause and... Real, there's real-time strategy, it, which it could be real-time strategy. But what's the other one that's not real-time strategy but is strategy? But anyway, yes, this could translate quite easily to that. So, like, my dragon got hit, and it didn't seem to have any effect on me. Oh, good, because he's got 15 now. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So you are separate, because you have 16 What still. happens if the dragon dies? He's probably just lost for that round, hopefully. But I would think 
if he dies, you should be, have to go hunt for another companion. Yeah, that would be so much cooler. Also, yeah. I, I'd love to not have a companion to start. Or you can resurrect him. find a companion. That's another way. You'd have to go somewhere to resurrect your companion. Because could you imagine this game without a companion? It would be so hard. Yes. It would be very challenging. Oops. It's hard because once cast. you... What, what do I got? Ray? It's probably projectile, though. Yeah, I would wait till you're alive. Oh, shit, I moved the wrong way. I was oh. just trying to figure out, like, what mm. was going on. Ooh. I, it's safer if you let the dragon take this guy. Really. But he's not great <laughs> at, at hitting, it looks like. Oh, he's pretty good. It's just like a toss of the dice, though. Overhead, multiple units, like FFT or Panzer General. Yeah, if he releases... Um, the code for the overview map you could definitely make this into a turn-based strategy game like actually if you just let, take a look at this this is a bigger board than um what's another game we just oh uh archon this is a way bigger board than Archon. Yeah, let's see. So you can just employ this exact um, type of system. And uh, so you didn't get upgraded? No. Well, gotta fight I, some more. But I got, I, I got some health. I was like, I wanted to make sure my dragon didn't get too killed. Right. Oh, he's back up to 16. Yeah. Yeah, he could. This totally can be employed for Archon, and even even has the outside border for Archon, for the game board. <clears throat> and he's got all the stuff, two lines of text on the bottom. I mean, this this engine could be ported to so many different types of games with two lines of text and this big of a map. Yay! Get 12 gold. And okay, I think so I first saw this type of game engine being used for Homestar Runner. Oh uh, yeah, I remember that when one. When we looked at that briefly. I mean, it was an unfinished game, but it had almost all the same elements in here. It had an overhead map, a huge one, and uh, one where you go into to, uh, a world as well. You can try your cast. That's well, not a bad idea. See if it's powerful. Yeah, it is a projectile. So you do get a projectile when you start off. Oh, that's good so, to know. So that's good. But your ranged is probably like your melee is probably the most powerful. Yeah. And then your ranged and then your spell, because otherwise, why would you ever buy the sling? Uh, hopefully this limited demo will give people a good idea as to the look and feel of gameplay as well as allowing them to determine how well it works on their own consoles. That really sounds like he's not going to release anything till it, it's done. I, isn't it? Because makes... this is totally good enough. Yeah, it makes sense though. To give you a full idea. It has the it has the combat, it has the towns, it has the overhead map, it has leveling up to six. Screw you skeletons. Uh, the attached ROM is 128K DFSC format, may be played via Stella or hardware, or via Harmony Encore or Uno Kart with the latest firmware for each. It will not work with Javatari or the Atari Flashback Portable. It will probably work on the Retron 77 with the latest community software update, but this is untested. I don't think anybody even responded to him if it, if it worked Ooh, in the Retron 77. I'm getting actually a little slightly wailed on right now. Uh, it's just because I'm missing so much. Your dragon's at 11. Yeah. You're at 11, too. I'll be okay, but... Oh, I... you're fine. But you probably want to heal, right? Yeah. Oh, dragon's down to 7. Ooh. Come on, Dan. Do it, Dan. I believe Hit it. Hit point 3. Uh-oh. <gasps> Gone. Now we'll find out. Dragon's dead. Skeletons are a touch... Touch yeah, harder. and the only game is going to say I want to go. Okay, I'm going to go right back to heal. 
Oh, more skeletons. How's but... my sky back? <laughs> 16 health? So it's like, oh, wow. Put, put the onus on him. <laughs> I think I have a new strategy. Yeah. <laughs> Sacrifice the dragon. <laughs> we'll put the, make sure that. Oh, the... make the dragon head off the guys. Use you as the range. Because they'll all be attracted to the dragon, right? And yeah, we'll see how this goes, but I'm just curious about this new tactic. Because, yeah, I'm here. I think That's that... smart. Ooh, that one's not... And the left is not going for it. That's okay. Yeah. No. Ooh, you're down to eight. I'll be all right. Ah, uh, yes, that's a good spot. Was that your strategy? Yeah. Ah, Anybody smart. that's threatening my guy. Oh, good, 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 good. I'll move your guy over. He'll do ranged. Oh, he sent down to one. Oh, he's dead now. It's you and the skeleton. Oh, shit, I moved. I didn't mean oh, to. No. Is... Oh, shit. Oh, no. This is it. Down to RNG. Okay, 17 gold. Get to the castle. Oh my god, you just made it. That's awesome. Okay, it's good that oh. we got to live life a little more exciting. So we have a manual here. The start of the manual. So we're going to get some inside information. Hit points. Let's see if you uh, went up a level. You did. You oh did. yeah, oh, star. The star. So it means I'm like ready to go. Yes! Nice. Of course, they'll pitch you against harder enemies. Ooh, ooh. Did it scale with you? Oh no. Carl! Carl, what happened? I can't level up. Oh no, did it crash? Why, Carl? Why? <laughs> oh no. Well, that line count is not encouraging. I'm, I'm gonna just hit a button and yeah. see if that does anything. And we're kind of like. Damn! Oh no. Azura goes, eek! <laughs> and then and we didn't save at any point. So. Well, you have to have the save key. Ah, it's not cool. Built, it's not built into um, the emulator, Darn. unfortunately. That's okay. I mean, it's it's Crashed. ten past one, so that might be that might be fate. Because oh, I'd rather no. not. I'd never, rather not grind back up to. Yeah, that'd be pretty boring. It just suck because I feel like I was so close. Work in progress. Know? R.I.P. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. In some ways, that's perfect timing because I could play this yeah. goddamn game all day, <laughs> all the way up to level six. Yeah, that's for sure. and if um, oh Rufus, man, Rufus. Rufus did oh, it. Oh come on! I should just talk to Rufus. Fuck that queen. <laughs> yeah. Rufus all the way. Boo. Oh, that sucks. That's what, amazing, though. Well, amazing. They, you know what's great, though, That'll is that them. next time that gives a thing, and then next time we go in, we'll do the Actually, same let's, process. Let's see if we can help him out a bit and see where it is it is in the process. Um, by... Can I move this down a bit? Oh, that would be nice. There we go. Does it hit the tab key to see where it is? Yeah, not not the tab key, the the tilde. So it's in uh, F one D A on bank zero. Let's do a frame by frame. That's okay, Azura man. I don't even know what a tilde is. <laughs> I mean, I've I heard it before, this down. but. What is happening? I'm going to put this on another screen, and that's not so crazy. Yeah, so everyone can see the whole... How come I can't... Because it's in a game. Oh, it's okay. I don't mind. It's I'm excited because I'll get to play this again, right? Yeah. So, and in some ways, if we got too far, then we'd have to play a lot more to, in order to get to the point. How can I step? What is it, S? Is it S for step? Yes. There we go. Okay, this will help him out. So this will tell him where it is in the code. And I'll also give him an idea of everything that's in memory as well. Some of it's cut off, which sucks, but this should hopefully give enough as I step through it. You can slow it down <laughs> as I step through it. 
I'm gonna step through it a little bit, and then I'm just gonna step through it really quick. Because he said Control L. For what? For he says uh, do Control L step line by line. I don't know oh. what that does though. Yep, yeah. it's it's jumping a lot. Anyway, I'm gonna do it really fast, and you can slow it down frame by frame. I'm doing Control L right now. And oh, there it is going line. Oh, line by line down the screen, like drawing line. Yes, okay, that actually is much better. So there it is. Cause I really want him to fix this bug because that's not good. Yeah, that's a, crashes when you upgrade. It's such a massive game, though, man. Of course, there's going to be some bugs, and I don't mind. That's what RPGs are all about yeah. little bugs here and there. Yeah. And let's just do a quick step-by-step -step for him as well. Actually, let's do a frame so he knows where it starts from. Okay, that's a frame. Oh, it's all over the place. Okay, let's do the step now. Do a save game. Oh. Yes. Like, save point where I'm playing um, I don't know this wizardry this alchemy but you all do okay so yeah you can save like do a snapshot of where you are in the game and I guess I could send it to him I guess that's the idea oh thrust okay please help me how do I uh, do a snapshot of where I am in the game I don't yes have snapshot to... oh yes let's learn how to do this stuff and then I can then I need to know where that snapshot is saved. Snapshot in Stella. Type save state. Oh, in the in the prompt. Ooh, I can't really see. Okay, yeah. let me see if I can do that. Save. Oh, I can. State. Missing arguments. Okay, save. State zero. Okay, guess that worked. It didn't cry back at me. Um, now is that saved as a file somewhere? Help us out, friends. Um, so let me go to my Stella and see if it is. Ugh, it doesn't say it anywhere. It's just documents. None of them look like they're. None of them are modified today. Um, save state. Save state file. Check documents. Stella. Stella. Good. Documents, really? Nope. Zero page debugging. Yeah. Nope. Nothing there. Nothing under docs. Stella debugger. Save state file. And Stella doesn't come up with anything. One moment. Okay. Well, it's saved now. I'll leave it up on the screen, and we'll just uh, do the wrap up, I guess. Yeah, because you can leave this page. You can leave it as yeah. is, and then... Yeah, I can leave it. We can approach this later. Okay, there we go. So, <laughs> two excellent games. We had uh, Peril and Penalt. I wish Damn. we played Penalt a little bit uh, longer, but that's okay. Fate had another And we didn't idea. get into the manual either. So we'll save it for another time. But that's good. I'm so Looking stoked to, to continue it. to replay that game. Oh, yeah. Um, so uh, pretty much said everything we had to say, but we'll rehash it. Pe uh, Peril, unbelievable. As per usual, VHZC. Um, the maps, the controls, the challenge. The tactics. I'm stoked to get deeper into it. Give yeah. me some leather armor. I was going to skip. Oh, no, no. Penalt. Uh, peril first. Peril, peril first. first. Yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, I didn't make it to the end. It, it, he actually cranked up. The, I was yeah. able to loop without lo losing any lives before. Now he's put it at a pretty good spot, I think. I think where... it's a very dangerous thing to tell VH that <laughs> see that his game is too easy. I, I think that's is. a scary... <laughs> very scary proposition, because he is like, okay, making it hard again. <laughs> but it was, it was too easy. I, I didn't die at all. 
like even like the yeah it was way too easy now it's like uh, it's pushing pushing the extents of hardness that's yeah that's what i was thinking um next yeah to take a look at but we can attack that uh, i want to make sure while i have them on the line here ah uh, yeah okay cool users sumerian app data yeah, that's right app data oh it's hidden the secrets of Stella. Stella. Ach there we go. Uh, roaming. Uh, Stella. State. <laughs> it's the feature. That's right. Game over. There we go. Penalt demo. ST0. That's Dang. what we need? Yes. 1.33 kilobytes. Excellent. It's a feature. Game over. <laughs> That's right. It's part of it. Yeah, it's, it's called the level one challenge. You have to beat the whole game without ever leveling up. Why did that turn th to thrust comments to star 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 on screen? Did it? Yeah, I don't, I don't see it. Uh, well, not from our end, but it's I'm I'm maybe what he's typing is like dangerous, oh. and they blanked it out except for us to see because they don't want other people accidentally typing it in because it looks like commands. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, it's it's a directory. Uh, users, your name, app data, roaming, Stella, state, very common Windows uh, directory for things. Um, not really interesting. On the overlay. Oh, oh, I missed it. It's gone. Oh, really? On the overlay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it does blank. Oh, out. interesting. That's really interesting. I have no idea why it's doing it differently on the overlay. Obviously, it's it thinks it's dangerous. I think it's a feature is what it is. <laughs> That's right. Huh. Fun. Um, so, yep. Uh, peril. Awesome. Uh, looking forward to more levels and more challenges and tackling it again when, when he's updated it again. Um, so he says he's going to make more levels for it. So That's definitely awesome. be playing it, it again. Um, probably after the award show. Yeah, because we got a lot of stuff to do. January's nuts. Yeah, it's, it's, too it's much. very, very full. It's a feature. Oh, yeah. Blanket. Oh, users is fine. The X is not. How about C Windows? No, that's fine, too. I love that we're, like, learning about all these strange <laughs> Which, Twitch. Yeah, what's going to be censored? Must be the, uh, the greater than or less than is starring or, it out. Or maybe it's, the, do it maybe it's the slash something slash, and maybe it's maybe the forward the slash slashes. rather than the backslash. Yep. Um, and penalt incredible achievement yeah. to making this type of RPG for the Atari 2600. I never thought it would be possible to do this kind of depth in a game, let alone tackle Ultima as as that de a depth of a game. Member privilege. <laughs> um, now we're like, we're trying, to get, we're trying to get this dot, dot, dot to appear now. I love yeah, no, it. we can't get it to appear. Um, so let's take a look at what's coming up in the timeline. Got some cool things coming up. Stop trying to break the overlay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so next episode, we're going to be playing Mr. Yo-Yo, uh, Beer Pong, George 2007 and 2019. That's kind of funny. George is like, it's the same by the same guy, but the games are totally different. And I think he forgot that he made the old George for some reason. I have no idea. But it's his own thing. That's we'll hilarious. I love it. And we'll be playing one versus one baseball, which is made by EA Smith is in his continuing line of uh sports games oh, and he's yeah. actually working on a tennis game now as well man i like tennis it's Crazy. a legit game that i actually like so it'll be fun yep and then uh so that's on this friday in two days um and then on the 15th which is next wednesday with you we'll be get playing steam tunnel bob pressure gauge and pressure gauge 2 plus an unannounced game we don't know what it is Ooh, yet be fun. Be penalt again <laughs> those three games are made by the same person that's good we'll let's see how long it takes because penalt those I feel are very like, fast okay very that, that fast. makes sense it's yeah it's tough thing about penalt is it is it's such a, a commitment long. and it just almost feels hard to tack it on at the end cause yeah it's almost it's why, its own thing that's why right? i sort of appreciate it in a way that it did happen this way because otherwise we'd be here to like three yeah we should play it on its own yeah after, after the award show we'll if there's no big other games coming up when there's kind of a lull for us for a week we'll we'll slot it in and attack this demo yeah it'll be tough though because if it crashes then we're screwed what 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 i'll do next time around is like save it locally because oh. that's what that did i can load those save states so next time when we play it before we do the upgrade before we save yeah we'll do a save state and then if it crashes 
that we know, just... move on to a different game. <laughs> we'll just make sure we got something in the chamber in case that happens yeah. again. Oh, slashes for commands. That's, well, that's why I, it's doing it. That makes sense. And then on the 17th, that's the day before the voting. So what we'll be doing is very exciting. That day is announcing all of the nominees. Um, that's on the Friday. Uh, looks like that's with Tanya. Um, so we'll be running through all the nominees because I'll have added them all up. And then the next day will be the start of the voting um, for the top 10 of each category. That's going to be really exciting. And we'll be starting to go through all the nominees, replaying them. Um, probably we have played all of them because they're the top games um, of the year. I suppose it says Stella does emulate save key by default earlier. Does it? So we could save in the... I just want to try something. <laughs> We won't keep playing it, but uh, saves it to a file. So it should have automatically saved it then every time we've played it. Like when we got created, every time you do certain things, not by default. Oh, okay. You have to Never set mind. up the controller. Oh, it's, but it's good there's some but options. That's, that's good. So I'll do that for next time as well. So there is a save function. So we have some, yeah. some sort of backup as well. Um, but then the next three shows after that, we'll be running through all of the nominees, replaying the best games of the year. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. So we'll be doing that on the 17th, the 22nd, and the 24th. <laughs> Great show. Thanks again, James and David. Hey, no problem. His, his name will return to normal next episode. I love it. Um, and then a very short break at the end of the month so I can prepare for the Atari Homebrew Awards presentations. And that's the big thing. That's the thing, man. That's the award show. We're going to all get dressed up, set up the green screen again, have the two. Man, I got my outfit picked. Awesome. I got I got a little blazer. I got a yeah. nice little shirt. Nice. Um, we'll see if I wear a tie because with the blazer, it might be too much. But we'll see. I'm, I'm yeah. ready to go. I got my stuff. We'll have two nice new cameras. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Maybe we should broadcast in 4K. <laughs> we'll have to see. It's probably too much. It would probably suck up your bandwidth. Probably. We'll see, though. I have really good bandwidth. We should do a test and see if we can. I mean, yes. why why not do it in 4K? I mean, that'd be it, cool. Well, also it'll look better on the camera. What do you think, guys? Should we do it in 4K? Because it's mostly us. It's not the video games. That's right. So we'll be in 4. No, it can't work because I don't have 4K hardware encoding. Those cost a fucking fortune. Yeah, man. So, and, and also <laughs> those those are bouncing out like highly compressed 4K, which is like its own deal. <laughs> like extra layered which is so hilarious yeah, that, that like yeah. uncompressed 4k is easier to play than compressed 4k but it, it does is. make sense because it has to decode it exactly uncompressed doesn't have to do anything it's just like if you have the bandwidth on your computer like from start to finish it's fine yeah um thanks for the awesome show guys so not 4k uh it'll be in uh 1080p as per usual. nothing wrong with Unless that somebody though. wants to donate a bunch of 4k encoders <laughs> to me three 4k encoders please do 360 Hardware video Probably. They're only like $1,000. The only issue I have with 360 so. video is that you need a 360 camera, and most 360 yeah. cameras are, are really not that great at the no, moment. Oh, they're trash. Um, and like, the way to do a real proper 360 camera would be to get like 12 really good cameras. Stitch them. And sti yeah, but the with overlay. Yeah. yeah, but the problem with that is that then like even getting one good camera is hard. <laughs> getting yeah. 12 would be good. Because yeah, a lot of the consumer stuff like that is just really pretty unremarkable. Because it has to stretch uh, a a ccd sensor all around like instead of that just that view right there has to do that one that one that one that one that one that one and then they have so really... divide up like say 4k say if they do 4k which is probably not it's probably just 2k maybe yeah and Can't divide that honestly. by 12 and the resolution just drops to nothing yeah. Yeah, and it's um. And I don't think Twitch does 360. They have no reason. To Facebook do does it though. Um, um, Facebook d does it. Uh, YouTube does it. I, I bet Twitch has it, but they have no reason to. It's all gaming. You don't yeah, do. It's true. I, I guess you could do re virtual reality, but that doesn't encode 360. It encodes what you're looking at, not yeah. everything. Hey. But, uh, but with 360 is a cool thing. It would be awesome to do. But like, I I think I'd much rather have like really good, clean two specific shots than like mm -hmm. one general 360 view. Because then uh, a lot of jobs go out the window. <laughs> like focus puller goes yeah, out the window. Like, um, 
what you're looking at like you're not directing the camera anymore other than the position of the camera yeah and you, the lighting is hard because i have to light 360s of a room you have to light everything and then you have to hide those lights somehow nobody can be in the room except for <laughs> it's so good you write 360 video of a 2d atari game you could go in behind it and go yeah, to the side of it just... and see the width of the blocks they've done three they've done 2d extend to 3d games yeah there's a whole bunch of uh, NES games that have been converted to 3D. Wow. They've, they've layered them and figured out the layers of the games. And like in Mario, say there's a, uh, a brick you jump on, they've actually just kind of turned it to the side and textured the side of it and given it depth. And it's like, it actually works pretty well. It's amazing. Um, so you can, and if you can do 3D of it, you can do a 360 of it as well. You spin right around it. Uh, but anyway, we digress. <laughs> yeah, it's a good question, though. Yeah. Um, so that's on February 1st is the awards presentation. It starts at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. GMT. So there's no excuse. It's on a weekend. It's within the realm of everybody's waking hours around the world, unless you're in Japan, I guess. And then it's in the middle of the night. Japan and Australia. Sorry, Japanese friends. And Australian friends. Sorry, you have to stay up special for that. But it is the weekend, so there you go. We'll get you next time. Yeah. Japan. <laughs> um, so I think that's it for us. We want to thank everybody for joining us. Oh, my God. Thank you all. Yeah, Azure, Mr. Fix, I suppose, to Repentless, VG, RC7E, VHZC, Thrust. RC Thrust, yeah. Uh, uh, who else do we got? S. Ramirez, man. He's in there. Mr. Fix. Uh, who else? We got the D-Train, D -train. David, the David Club. <laughs> uh who else is being well, so chatty chatty uh, oh those are the main people yeah and then we'll run I out of stuff to... i'm sure i suppose to... is oh grounding force man and i know that arena foot was the best club. in there earlier david club is the best club getting cracking on those t-shirts it's in my mind it's, it's a... in my mind we'll we'll make some yeah um i'll come up with a nice design it'll incorporate like a, a nice logo yeah and... something classy and clean and simple you know yeah i can't I don't think I can put the Atari symbol on there because yeah. um, that's like copyrighted. I'm, I'm skirting it with the Atari awards right now yeah. with it, but uh, it's it's a small show and a small award show, so we're okay. And it, yeah. it we're awarding Atari games, so what do you you have to put the Atari symbol on it? Um, um, I appreciate that a lot, S. Ramirez. S. Ramirez. I never yeah. in a million years would have thought that would be such a thing. So thanks for bringing that yeah. to it. I've done T-shirts for old projects, yeah, and. Uh, I have a bunch sitting in the closet That's over the there. That's the problem with you, but it's like... But I'll, I'll do on-demand kind of ones. And there's some decent on-demand places now that aren't garbage. Um, but the other ones, I did I did a print because I wanted high quality. Yeah. Um, but you, but that was 20 years ago. Yeah, it's Things different. have progressed now. Yeah, and I think also mailing things is so much easier. Yeah, like Drop shipping just... is a lot better than they ship to me, and then I have to ship them out, and then I have to charge a whole bunch, especially... Our audience, I looked at our demographics, it's it's very mono demographics yeah. if you look at it. It's male, whatever that age range is, like 35 to 45 or something. It's like 100% or like 99%. It's all in one demographic. And all U.S. Like, I think it was like 50 or 60% U.S. Wow. And then the other one's all over the world, right? That's cool. This is YouTube. Yeah, um, because I don't think you get dem much demographics with Twitch, but it's it's, what it's interesting, but also not interesting. Yeah, at the same what's time? a real benefit to going to YouTube that you have those analytics on YouTube? It's much more trackable. That's one of the interesting things about Twitch. It's cool that we kind of live in both worlds, though. We're kind of yeah. I think a lot of folks just watch on YouTube. I think there's quite a Tons. few people who Tons. that's just their thing. Hundreds. It's it's getting in, into the hundred is like 125 minimum every wow. every time now. Usually about 150. Um, and going up to 200 every episode watches, which is great for a small show that is just about just very like a, a a part of a thing that's part of a thing that's part of a thing yeah. that's part of a thing. 
Like it's it's crazy. So man, I'm 52, so we need a plus 50 logo on the shirt as well. Man, my dream would be that maybe like someday some of our other projects attract people to this. You know, yeah, that would be really cool if like because I don't know, I, I don't know if it'll ever happen, but it would be neat to even if it's just one or two people that would like then rediscover the Atari and all the cool stuff that's happening with Homebrew and I mean you the, know. the audience is getting bigger all the time, but it's 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 slow. I don't yeah. know if there's much crossover opportunity to other things other than just us playing games like they'd have to be attracted to like this but that's what i was in the game that's what i was thinking that yeah. i wonder if like in the future um if some of the other projects that like we're planning if those get you know because like, those have potential for much more mainstream if that yeah if that popped then i wonder if there'd be some trickle over and that would be There's... heaven for me man if like even one mm. person plays goddamn amoeba jump <laughs> <laughs> who never would have known about it that would be cool it's, it's a double-edged sword getting popular because then you have to manage that's a good the point influx of people that are not as Into dedicated and not as core i love this group that it's just like these people love atari these guys love atari yeah, they're it's... dedicated they play the games they make the games they're... someday this might be the golden age you know <laughs> look back on this yeah, those as... are the good times you know but i think every like every every show does have a like a kind oh, of meet up the meet up the meetups really are sorry to interrupt you. No, go ahead. Uh, the meetups are really the retro gaming conventions. Like S. Ramirez, you were at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. I don't think I saw you or met you. Did? Hey man, did well they? maybe I'll see what's up next year. But I might try to come out to Portland because I'd also love to go Portland's to Portland. An awesome time. My friend went to Portland and he was saying it was so good. Um, he said there's CBD oh, yeah. everywhere. <laughs> oh my god! Which made me laugh. I was like, but that's also him, man. He's like, yeah. But it's, the whole West Coast is legal. Yeah, I mean Canada is fully legal. I'm fully but... legal, but I was that, that was hilarious. <clears throat> but I'm I might try to like I'll see how my finances are doing if I'm like you know if it's, if I if it's I not have bad you get a bus down there it's super fast super easy yeah um and then you stay in a hotel and the food costs that's I'll so just, it's gonna cost I'll just have to see how I'm doing um bucks you know based off of like some potential prospects but my life yeah. is so random like it's like i feel like i could either have the greatest year financially or i'll just be the same and i have no control over that but if i'm financially in a good place next year i will for sure go to portland so i yeah. can meet some of you folks and yeah have a drink and hang out like <laughs> dave Sha uh, john shampoo is going to be there that would be and his great. brother paul they go every year and i think they said they're going to go again yeah man i'll just Atari like... age is a big toss-up whether they're going to be there this year unfortunately oh because there's another thing happening for him at the same time <clears throat> that he can't make it but oh, well. he, he says it's probably not but maybe so david's <laughs> yeah i'd love that meet the david <laughs> club yeah yeah that, that would be cool for for me i just like just find a bar and hang out and drink with you guys that would be fun um and i want to dress splitting the stream with youtube and twitch you can't legally do that <laughs> you're not like you o obs doesn't do it there are services that you can sign up to that do it um but you can't make any money if you do that yeah it's why i have to wait 24 hours to upload it to youtube because twitch has an agreement that you have to sign saying you can't upload it anywhere for 24 hours if you make any money like i don't i don't care about the money too much um, I just like the, the, the subscriber interaction kind of thing and those little logos. and It's kind of funny. It's kind of fun. I mean, not funny, yeah. but fun. Um, so, yeah, you can't. Uh, they would just kick me off the platform if I did that, if they found out. But yeah. we're too small to care. And they've been so good to us, Twitch and YouTube, you know. It's just yeah, I think great it works well. And... Yeah, and, and you can archive. You can go in the archive in Twitch or in the archive. Or wait a day and go on YouTube. Yeah. But anyway, I interrupted you saying something. You probably what was can't I remember saying? what it was. I don't even remember what was on the line. I was just, you know, I'm just stoked to it'd be nice to go to Portland, though. Just even just to experience the city. If I did the Portland yeah. retro thing, I'd probably go to Portland for maybe like a week and just chill out there. Yep. Um, Great it, food. Yeah, and just go to like bookstores and do my thing. Oh my and, then, and then hit up the like. You will die. <laughs> yeah, that was what my friend was telling me, man. He's like, the bookstores are so good. Powell Books is the most incredible bookstore you will ever go to make a list before you go because you'll be overwhelmed damn it I is do it. like three floors and it's a whole city block like 
yeah. the whole city block. I'm honestly these days way more into reading than than I am anything else. Mm. Like I'm just I, on it. Like all with Christmas, I was reading so much because it's just like there's a lot of like books I've been trying to like. It's also because I'm doing <laughs> research on like so many projects and. Mm. Uh, but uh, but yeah, like that would be awesome. I could get like a nice book, hang out, have some coffee in the morning, yeah. go hang out, play some retro games. That there would be a go. fun. When is it again? The Pet Portland uh, retro gaming. They changed. Let me just get a time on, a date on that because they changed. I think it's August now instead of yeah. September. Yeah, and I wouldn't care, man. If I run into any of you guys, that'll be fun. If I just yeah. if, if I don't and I'm just hanging out playing games, get to see with James and Tanya. That's a great time, yeah, no matter what. To, somebody came up to Tanya during the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, and she didn't know who they were, but they're like, "Hey, I I watch you on YouTube," and she found it very surreal because <laughs> she hasn't experienced that before. Yeah. I have because I've done this stuff for like decades. And people like shout at me on this, used to shout at me on the street in Vancouver. Wow. <laughs> with my online name. And it was very strange, but yes. <laughs> she experienced that of somebody shouting. But anyway, it's uh, August 14th to 16th. Um, so put it Damn. on your calendar. Man, I'll, I'll we'll if just. If you can make it, it's a Well, fun if time. I, the only reason why would just be depends how my year is, like in yeah. terms of jobs. I mean, if I, if I get a bunch of the jobs I think I am, you know, then I, no problem. I couldn't go to most of it. I could only go to the last day this year because yeah. I was at a, a screening of, of my film. Um, our film. Yeah, that's <laughs> you true. worked on it too. You well, no, but it's more colorist. like you yeah. and, you and uh, uh, Gio Giovanna, are the, yeah. are the main people who've been there from the yeah. beginning. I, I popped in in the end and <laughs> made some right. colors look good. <laughs> that's right. And made today's colors look good. And it'll even look even better next time. Yeah, I designed a little uh, lookup table for the, the color correction. And we'll see how it works. I We still need to yeah, refine it's it. It's a bit but... overexposed right now. But, yeah. Um, a, little, a little hot. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we've been blabbing on. Yeah, I could only attend Friday, Saturday. Yeah, that's why I didn't see him. That's why. Because I came on the Sunday and he oh, had to man, leave. next that's time. Sad. But I saw you in video... Or photos. I saw you in photos on uh, the Champ Games website through the video that was posted yesterday. Um, craziness. Um, so thanks for hanging out. We'll be back in two days on Friday um, with uh, with Darcy. Oh, lovely Darcy you know? time. Yeah, and then you know? and then we'll get the update on how the. Uh... 2600 yeah well we won't get the update on friday no but we'll get an we'll update get it on I, I mean i'll get an update You'll on get wednesday update. <laughs> that's right so thanks for hanging out everyone we will see you next time see you next time bye, bye, -bye. thanks friends